Let's uh, let's see what Fontaine has in store. I'm I'm curious to see uh, the swimming in the game. I'm very curious to see the swimming, and I'm hoping we see a little bit of day or two. The first time we came here. <sighs> I don't remember, Paimon. Oh, Paimon remembers. Nahida's consciousness had been trapped by the doctor, but we followed the clues she left behind to help her. I'm going to give some constructive criticism. That voice is like nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So it's it's just as bad as I remember. So much time has already passed since then. And it seems Sumeru is changing for the better now that Nahida's in charge, right? Okay, great. Paima just hopes this peace will last a long time. And then Nahida won't have any more new problems to deal with. Okay. Yeah, guess you're right. Hmm. We somehow always find ourselves right in the thick of it. Who knows what will happen next? Come to think of it, maybe it's all because of you. Maybe you're just a magnet for trouble. Yeah, that's what Genjin Twitter thinks too. Huh? Me? Before Paimon ran into you, Paimon never ran into any trouble. At most, when she was super tired, Paimon got caught in some strange whirlpool and sucked out into sea. And even then, you fished Paimon out. I have no recollection of this. Okay, fishing wasn't implemented until 2.0. Uh, anyway, for Nahida. Maybe we should think about heading to our next destination for now. Next stop, Fontaine, boys. Ah, look who it is. Running into you in a place like this. Oh, I can see yeah! Still wandering around. Oh, yeah! Oh, it's Dia! Hmm. Oh, Since yeah. Since when are we just wandering around? We're usually taking care of some serious business. Even though it may have nothing to do with our journey. I hate her, Chad. I hate Paimon. I hate Paimon so much. Why? And she's just so rude for no reason. Like, literally, holy f But never mind that. What brings you here? I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. Nothing too interesting. Just escorting a shipment of goods. Wait, you got I'm paid to escort some back. guy? Okay. That's when I saw you two all the way over there. Chatting away. Bro, Dea sounds good as what are you talking about anyway? Why are you saying usual client aware? What do you mean? Oh no. Uh -huh. Don't talk to me, bitch. Are you serious? Don't talk to me, bitch. Can't say I saw that coming. Hmm, but you are travelers after all. Yep. I guess you'd never stay for too long in one place. Hey, see ya, baby. We got places to be. Bumping into you like this will become a rarity. Ah, uh, I'm starting to feel sad just thinking about it. Hey, that's okay. I'd be sad too about a travel fine month. Hey, how about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? Okay. What do you say? Hey, I'd love to. Thanks, but no need. Oh, Paimon had no clue you'd miss us so much. But don't worry, we'll come back to see everyone when we get a chance. Uh, no we won't. <laughs> Sounds good. All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some waterways. Knowing you two, I'm sure it won't be anything you can't handle. We will we will absolutely not be coming back here except for weekly mats. So, uh, when are you leaving? Uh, right now. Oh, wait a sec. Paimon just remembered there are still a few dishes in Sumeru that Paimon hasn't tried yet. Now, where is that list Paimon made? Even the traveler hates her ass. <laughs> yeah. Who's this goober? Who's this wacky dude? I see. Guess you won't be needing a going away party or anything. It's sad enough to see you go like this. Though, now that I think about it, Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you. I agree. Seems true heroes always prefer leaving quietly. I know. <laughs> By the way, should we go say bye to Nahida? Nope. Uh, no, absolutely not. Oh, good point. Then there's no need to bother her in the real world. That's right. Then I guess this is goodbye for now, Traveler and Paimon. Nope, this is goodbye forever. Whether as a client or a friend, you're always welcome to come find me.
Okay. See you on Twitter, Dea. Goodbye, Dea. Bye-bye, Sumeru. See you there. See you soon. Wait! Wait, you're just TP'd there? We're, we're just, we're just there? It looks... It looks beautiful. Oh, after crossing all that sand and water, we finally made it! Oh, this must be Fontaine's port! God damn. Wow! Everything looks so... This is advanced in Fontaine! Jackie, you are I'm on that the industry here is extremely... Extremely developed. There are all kinds of unusual machines. That I need. I wait for you tonight. Just seeing the sights as a tourist is nice, but maybe it would be better if we found something to do. I agree. What do you think? That sounds like an amazing idea. Good idea. Nahida gave us lots of useful information. I'm gonna turn off the TTS guys because I want to enjoy the story. Hope you understand. Probably still our best source for information at this point. Sounds great. Yeah, the more we can learn, the better. Let's go find our brother. So, what do you think the Hydro Archons like? Will we get along? Nahida said that she has a very unique personality. Whatever that means. I hope she's a little. I'm hoping she's just a little bitch. God, start with the nation's people. There seems to be some locals talking over there. Let's go see if we can join the party. She is? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, okay. Ask me, it's a tragedy how things ended for him. Clearly, he was a pretty decent person. Well? Yeah, I didn't expect that kind of ending for him. I thought he would at least fight on a little longer for his family. Who? I was expecting a sudden plot twist, but it's a pity that it never happened. Still, his story is quite the tearjerker. Tearjerker? Who? Uh, excuse me. Can I help you too? I couldn't help but notice you standing here listening. Yeah, where are the playable uh, characters of Fontaine? Hi! <laughs> We're travelers new to Fontaine, and we had something we wanted to ask, but you seem to be really busy talking about some kind of play so we didn't okay. want to interrupt <laughs> okay uh play oh no 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 we're talking about something that really happened in fact it's a case that was just heard a few days ago really like a real trial but the way you were talking about it and the words you used just now made it sound like some kind of story well, good tales are often based on true stories, aren't they? Very true. And what you see in reality may also be someone deliberately putting on an act while harboring ulterior motives. Like Whether what? something is true or not simply isn't that important. The main thing is whether the story being acted out on the stage is splendid enough. Yeah, like when I pulled for oh, Kafka. But it looks like you're not from Was it real here. or not? <laughs> you probably don't know that the Fontaine Court of Justice is called the Opera House. Was it Epitaph, real or not? Or more commonly known as just the Opera House. But shouldn't court cases be treated a little more seriously than that? No. Not to question Fontaine's way of doing things. It's just that putting someone on trial is usually a very serious thing. Yep. <laughs> no worries. Other visitors to Fontaine have wondered the same thing. You could say that we just don't want to waste the moving stories behind those cases. And as for your worries about whether the cases are treated with due reverence, we have the absolutely just and honorable Chief Justice Nouvellet. As well as the oratrice mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal. A machine what the f*** did you just say?! Between the machine and the Chief Justice... Holy f***, a warlock?! The are a thing of the past now. Do I have a level 2 curse on my ass?! Oratrice mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal. I thought Mr. Beast running out the Eiffel Tower. Why is it in Genshin? Oratrice? Is it some kind of machine, too? Oh, oh, Curse of curious. Fontaine! We should check it out if we get the chance! Okay, then. Wait, I almost forgot to ask you a question. Um, do you know what we should do if we want to meet the Hydro Archon? Uh, <laughs> oh, that's easy. Just go, go to, to the a opera mirror house. and say power creep Lady three times. Lady practically lives there. You could definitely say it's her biggest passion. Lady Farina. <laughs> 
I think what they mean is that they wish to speak with the Archon personally. Okay. In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a tad more difficult. You'll have to make an appointment well in advance, and it'll depend on whether or not she has any time slots available. An appointment? Huh. Is the Hydro Archon super busy taking care of official stuff? Wait, didn't you say that she's always at the Opera House? No, no. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. The reason it's difficult to make an appointment is simply because she's incredibly popular. Is she cool? That's right. After all, she is the Archon. Though she may tend to get a little dramatic from time to time, people can't get enough of her. Huh. First time Paimon's ever heard of an Archon being described that way before. Yeah, usually they f hate them. <gasps> Wait! Paimon gets now! The Hydro Archon is kinda like a big celebrity here, right? So she's like a streamer. Yeah, I suppose you could say that. Okay. Huh. Perhaps you could even say our mascot. Oh, Hang God. on. This is still Fontaine's Archon you're talking about. You should show some more respect. Yes, you're oh, right. Oh, oh. I guess I should at least try to be a little more respectful in front of visitors. Otherwise, I might get arrested and find myself face to face with Monsieur Nouvellet. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. Sure, there's a lot Wait, of laws Monsieur here. Wait, Monsieur Nouvellet? I thought that meant Nobody's going Nuru. to be arrested for saying something disrespectful about the Hydro Archon. Is that the, is that the judge guy? Is that the f guy with the long flowing hair or no? Right. I think we get it. Thank okay, you. cool. At least we now know that we can find the Hydro Archon at the Opera House. Who knows how long making an appointment will take? <sighs> Guess we could have a look around the city in the meantime. Yeah, classic time hey, gating. What are you looking over there for? Uh, who? There's a girl? Huh. Maybe something. Oh, to cat girl! <gasps> She's going to jump into the water, is she? No, wait, no, wait! Uh, maybe we better go check on her. Before she dies! <laughs> Bro, what are you looking at, man? <laughs> what are you looking at? Bro, I cannot get over how that water sounds. Bro, you're a cat. You can't swim, bro. Oh, Jesus Christ. You got the AirPod effect. How did uh, it do that sound damage? Hello there. Excuse me. Are you alright? Huh? Ah. Uh. I'm fine. Thanks. Oh, okay then. We just noticed that you seem to be worried about something. About many things, actually. But there's nothing I can do but just keep my troubles to myself. I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids. It was just atop that hill over there. See? Bro, this Lynette chick's the type of girl to message you at 3 a.m. Hey, man. Thanks for everything. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Fuck, that's uh, awful. You're pointing at the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you saying that you and your brother lived in the water? No people call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh water. And no, I can still see that hill clearly in my memories. Now, it's been completely submerged. He would skip and jump, tossing sand in the wind. The sun shone brightly, and the air was filled with the scent of the sea. But now, the water is gradually swallowing our memories. <sighs> it won't be long before it swallows us. Uh, <sighs> me to your mom. Sorry, Paimon doesn't really get what you mean. Ah, I don't believe we've had the pleasure oh, of meeting. Oh God, not this guy. Are you Lynette's new friends? Oh, and not you this are? guy. Thanks for looking after my sister. She often comes here to reminisce about our childhood, that's all. There's no need for any concern. Holy shit, is that Blade? introduce myself. I'm Linny, and this is my sister Lynette. If I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the traveler. We just arrived in Fontaine. Oh, wow, Paimon, you are we so amazing. We were just amazing. with your sister. Even though we didn't really get what she was saying. Bro, Kafka's gonna be pissed when she finds See, out that he's hanging out with Lynette. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. 
In fact, she seldom speaks at all. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. Oh, it's like Pedantella. Oh, really? Then you two are just like us! Paimon's always the one talking for some reason. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's time we shut the f*** up. <laughs> so that's how you think it is? I also think my brother can be too talkative at times. <laughs> Seems you were right, Paimon. We are quite similar. <laughs> so, what did Lynette mean just now when she said that the water is engulfing your memories? And that it won't be long before it engulfs you too? Oh, that. It's from a prophecy that's been circulating in Fontaine for some time now. Okay. Well, I suppose prophecy isn't exactly the right word, because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty. There's no doubt about what's happening in Fontaine now. Oh, we're just legit, we're all gonna die? That's probably not good. Uh, what's Where going on? to begin? Okay. Hmm. Let's put that question on hold for a moment. We still haven't formally greeted each other yet, have we? Uh, did all the introductions earlier not count? Yeah, they call me Genshin Jesus. I'm the guy who got the weapon banner changed. Hello, traveler. No, uh, no, I preferred Genshin Jesus. Angel Town. Uh, but fine, that's fine. And Thank hello, Paimon. Hey! Why did Paimon get a handshake? Oh. You're not poking fun at Paimon, are you? <laughs> Please, don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should remember it. It might prove useful. You want me to show you how I would shake Paimon's hand? Gah! 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 <laughs> Thanks, By the way, we were just getting ready to go to the opera house to meet the Hydro Archon. Would you be able to show us the way? Not to want madam, though. <sighs> so you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at all. In fact, I was planning to go to the opera house later myself. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. Please follow me. I don't get that one. Don't worry, guys. Let me explain the joke. <laughs> So Tuano met the CEO of Hoyoverse, and Hoyoverse's name is Dewey. This guy said, can you show us the way? The joke is... Oh, man. I get it now? <laughs> I don't get that one. I get it now. I got you, bro. I, I got you, big dog. No problem. No problem. No problem. All right. Can I dive yet? Where are we going, big dog? Uh, you said you were going to see Lady Farina? Well, it seems Lady Farina has come to see you. Why did his voice change so much? What is happening? What is going on? Oh my god! This is really intense. Huh. So, she's the Hydro Archon? But, how did she know we were looking for her? Because she's the Archon, brother. What does she not know? My dear people, rich and poor, those with cup in hand and those with nothing at all, raise your glasses in celebration! If you don't have one, then just raise your hand and leave. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
So is she just like super extra or what's going on? Yeah, she's the best! She's the best! As you can all see, two unfamiliar travelers have arrived in our nation. Come, let us make a toast in honor of this traveler and her companion. Bro, who have I journeyed love here from her eyelashes. Lands. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, is she talking about us? Uh, yeah, I think so. No one has any wine. What is going on here? I've long heard of the turmoil and chaos you left in your wake as you visited other nations. But I welcome you nevertheless. Bro, she looks no, so cool. I have come Her to eyes see look you crazy. Personally. Fear is for insignificant cowards. I am a god, and I will never entertain the notion of such meaningless wariness. You can be rest assured. I see clearly your sincerity. I wish, I wish people course, still talk like this. Seeking an audience with me is the most sensible thing to do. It will allow you to she truly behold so cool. my power and witness my authority. Intelligent people always gather under the <laughs> correct banner. I, Fosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of Hydro and acknowledge the value and significance of your trip now you may rejoice in this yeah! Woo! <laughs> yeah I still can't believe it feels like we've only been here for a few minutes yeah that's actually pretty lit but the hydro icon's entrance was uh how should Byman describe it a little over the top? You mean dope? Uh, Miss Hydro Icon? How did you know we were coming? The sound of your... Never mind. Uh, I see. As Outlanders, you inevitably lack even some of the most basic understanding. Don't forget that even the Bro, gods her eyes are so cool. the mediocre and the excellent. I suppose it's only natural for you to be awestruck by my abilities. <laughs> okay, chill, brother. You had best stop and consider. Do you really have the noble qualities and etiquette necessary to communicate with a god? All it takes is a flick of my finger for me to know everything about you. Really? Talk about sounding high and mighty. She can see my browser history? Yo, chat, random question. Which Genshin streamer do you think has the worst browser history? Uh, uh, if you were to... <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh. <laughs> no, I shouldn't ask. Oh? What's with these looks? Perhaps the welcoming ceremony still isn't enough? Hmm. What else should I say then? By the way, for many of you wondering, it is a vegetable smoothie. Uh, spinach, kale, apple, and peach. Delicious. Delicious. Uh, is she waiting for us to start talking? Well, maybe. I, I don't know. Wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. What a surprise! Wait. Does this mean they're the legendary blonde traveler? How did I not notice before? What can I say? Hey, what's all the commotion? I am that bitch. Oh, is that Lady Farina? Is there some kind of drama going on? Yeah, of I'm course. here. Which means yes. That's the blonde traveler. Yep, what the can I say? I bring the drama. stories are about. Lady Farina came here to personally see her. Oh, I bet this is going to be the duel of the century. Here, let me uh, let me cause some drama real quick. Uh, M Tashed. Oh, hold up. Oh, I got to think of something. 
Oh, God. What's something shitty about MTash that hasn't already been said? Nah, I can't think of anything. It's already all been covered. Never mind. Ooh, I've got to see this. I knew Lady Farina would never disappoint. All right. Don't get too excited now. My dear believers and spectators alike tend to get quite rowdy. And despite the noise, I've come to tolerate all their ruckus. She's so sick. The theme as well as clean as consider this my reward to <laughs> all of you. I have determined that there will be an epic duel between myself and this traveler from another land, just as you were hoping to see. Why this Archon remind me of someone I know? Narcissist. Soy Jack Tone Lamau. She's so good at stalling, just like Tech Tone. What do you mean by that, bro? What do you mean? What the f what the f uh, Now she wants to fight? Are we getting a little ahead of ourselves? All right, let's do it. She is so fine. Hmm? <laughs> Are you not afraid? Might I remind you that this is a duel against the divine? Bro, I've spent half a million dollars. What are you trying to do, traveler? Provoking a god in front of her people? <laughs> yeah. Stand down, Clorend. I admire her bravery. Few have the courage to draw their sword against a god. Yeah, do a pop off. She is obviously a true warrior. <laughs> Unfortunately, people nowadays only crave to be thrilled, and a mere duel will not slake their thirst for excitement. Yep. Huh. Yeah, she's right. Just a duel wouldn't be all that interesting. You know, we should kill each other. Well, on Araneus, criminals are always requesting duels to defend their honor. I'm getting a bit old to tell the truth. You see, then as the god of justice, the god of justice, this traveler in another kind of duel. You go. A duel in court. Basketball. Oh, all right. Now that'll be worth seeing. Who can gaslight right. who the best? This is Fontaine, after all. Such a grand opera house. It would be a pity not to use it. I agree. Why do you care so much about the crowd's reactions? Seems you've spent a little too much time in the opera house. She's doing a bounty, Paimon. She needs to switch primes. Besides, how exactly do you plan to have a duel in court? You mean you're going to put us on trial? <laughs> we haven't even done anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have reason to put you on trial. It's obvious, isn't it? Mike, what's going on here? Uh. Uh. What the f did I do? The trial of Tectone's coming up on Asmund's stream. I mean. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, trial of Dick Town. Um, okay. Uh, enlighten me. What in the f did I do? According to Fontaine Law, no one is permitted to release any flying objects within Fontaine city limits during the first three days of each month. Oh. You are clearly guilty of violating this law, no? A am I? Oh, so that's what they've done wrong. Mm, that's our lady Farina. No one knows the laws of Fontaine. Wait, is it Paimon? Wait! Does. You call that obvious? What kind of law is that? Wait, flying object? <gasps> you mean Paimon? <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. They're actually. This is how Paimon should be used. That is actually genuinely funny. Okay. They should just make her some dumb little kid that gets bullied. That is actually funny as Please, hey, 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 lock the bitch up. Take her away for the love of God. 
Paimon's illegal in Fontaine. Please. Please take her. Precisely. Now, if you two have no objections, then in the name of the Hydro Archon, I order your arrest. I love her VA work. My apologies, Lady Farina. I don't mean to spoil the fun. But if you would allow me to interject, I don't think that Paimon here meets the definition of a flying object. Oh, no. You tell her, Linny. Finally, someone who's not crazy. How could anyone call Paimon a flying object? Please don't do flying object jokes in my chat, guys. Ah, great magician, Linny. My beloved citizen. I'll permit you to object. But how exactly do you plan to prove your claim? Don't you dare call her emergency food. Don't do it. As a magician who just rained on your parade, I naturally should shoulder the responsibility of saving the show. Okay. So, with such an audience gathered here, allow me to perform a trick for everyone. What is going on? Was she a balloon? <laughs> Wait, she's a balloon? Ta -da. Wait, we have. What's that on Paimon's back? Wait, did we put a leash hey, on her, bro? Why did you do that? Oh my god. Oh, the handshake and the pat on the back. Wait, bro, are you tough? Bro, bro, where is your hand? There. As you can all clearly see, Paimon should be classified as, well, something like a balloon. This rope has been in the traveler's hand all along. It was just that no one could see it before. Yep, there it is. See, we do. <laughs> you call that magic? <laughs> You've got to be joking. Okay, Rena, you stuck up bitch. <laughs> you uh, do it better than good. Nice one. Huh. I'm not sure what to think. It seems Lady Farina's charges no longer hold water. That's right. Yeah, now what? What are you gonna do? You gonna cry? God, I Just love the sort her of BA, dude. Unexpected twist that I enjoy. With you here, today's performance can finally be called complete. Performance? You see all this as a performance? In which case, consider the matter of your trial resolved. The God of Justice will not bring charges against an innocent person. But when there are valid grounds. I will not only judge travelers from abroad, oh, okay. but even the gods of other lands. Like, <laughs> like who? Like who? I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny and Miss Lynette. That's enough for now. Toodaloo. I wish people would still say toodaloo. Bro, holy charm in one character. Good God. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, I think this might be, unironically, I think this might be the Archon, the best Archon in the game so far. People are gonna hate me saying that, but she has she has so much personality. I love that shit. Very, very, very good character. Very, very, very good character. That's a problem for future Paimon. Uh Raiden's cooler aesthetically, but Raiden's personality is very boring. Like her her story quest put me to sleep. Like I can tell that uh, this chick's story wasn't gonna be great. Uh, she she has she has so much personality. It's insane. Don't mention it. I just happened to remember that there was such a law, so I did a little prep. Water archon, just in case. I Geo didn't think archon, would actually electric come archon. Ahead. So, now do you see Mahita what kind of god I. Lady Farina is? Venti's my well, least she can favorite. Be a bit confusing at times, but she is still amenable to reason. He's great. It's not a big difference, guys, but I have to put him in order, right? Add Focalore's evil. Sure. We can add the cute little emote. We are running out of emote slots, boys. Anyway. Uh -oh. I might have no Anyways. idea you were a magician, Linny. It sounded like you'll be performing at the Opera House, right? <laughs> I just know a few simple tricks I use to make a living. Lynette is my assistant. I might pull for one copy. It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage in Fontaine. The Opera House. 
I, I, I'm actually liking Linnea a little bit more. The more I get to know him. How are you not your own when podcast? There are no that was a joke. Trials being held. The Opera House hosts a variety of other performances. To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. And speaking of performances, I would be remiss to the joke. this opportunity <laughs> gifted by fate. Might no. I invite the two of you to see my performance? My brother's always excited to make new friends. Oh, sure. We don't really have anything to do now, and we wanted to go to the Opera House anyway. Okay. I would be delighted. Splendid. In that case, why don't we go together? I'll show you the way. I just have something to take care of first. Okay. Oh, you really mean it? Yeah. Then I'll take you up on your offer. This is I a cannot magical believe Lene item known as a magic pocket. Perhaps you can help me distribute them to the people here. What the f*** is that? Huh? What are they going to use it for? About that... Hmm. You asked me before about the prophecy, right? Let me start by telling you a little more about what it entails. <laughs> it's crazy that Blade and Linnea have the same VA, so much range. Read in my shit. Claim it as your own. Oh, American. Okay. What can you expect, man? Land of the Freight. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. Type one of your NA, type two. Two purple guys, two purple guys. Two purple dudes, two purple dudes. Two purples, two purples, two purples. That's big, that's big, that's big. Uh, type one if you're from America, type two if you're from EU. It says that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. No matter how the nation of justice holds trial after trial, oh, this no. sin cannot be absolved. Until one day, the water levels in Fontaine will rise, and the sinful people will slowly be drowned. In the end, the people well, will all be dissolved good. into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Yep, that is... Only then that is probably will the sins good. of the people of Fontaine be washed away. That sounds pretty gloomy. Why are people in Fontaine born with sin? What is that supposed to mean? There are lots of know. guesses. Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine stole the power of the seas and stirred its wrath. Others say that the people of Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's warnings and offended Celestia. But here in Fontaine, evidence is what matters. There hasn't been concrete evidence for any of these claims, so they can only be regarded as conjecture. If even the people in Fontaine don't know what sin they committed, wouldn't it be better just to ignore the prophecy completely? Why bother feeling guilty all the time? That's exactly Bro, what the people did at first. But in the last few years the water levels in fontaine have actually started rising it's hard to feel bad for an act you didn't even know you committed or even worse didn't commit at all people just think that you did it dude this is a really really compelling story so everybody's just gonna get washed and drowned hmm. many places have already been completely submerged and now lie beneath the sea Many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon. But my family and I think that the people of Fontaine shouldn't ignore the possibility, which would end up sentencing them to death. We hope that at least the people who reside near the waterfront can move away before it's too late. So, okay. we've started distributing magic pockets to them. As a magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing capacity. I'm sure they will come in handy when people are moving their belongings. Oh, Why, I agree. It's like preparing for a rainy day. But Very good, Paimon! Hmm. Perhaps only absolute power could ever contend with such a catastrophe. <laughs> but who knows? We're just tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. What if we got a really big straw and then we just slurped up the ocean? That way the water goes away. 
What if everybody got a straw and we just drank it up? <clears throat> what do you think? And then that way, uh, that way nobody drowns. Or, or, or maybe we throw some refrigerators in the fridge and then we put them in the ocean and then we freeze the water. That way it, uh, it doesn't overflow. <laughs> that would be too easy. What if we had SpongeBob? <laughs> now, if you'd like to help, yep. then please give these magic pockets to anyone nearby. Okay. Be sure to convince them to take it, regardless of what they say. Okay, all right. Yeah, what if we just pick up the water and we put it in a bottle or something? Yeah, why don't we just bottle it or, or just drink it? The one you're seeing is outside Fontaine, not inside of it. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Hey there, crazy guy. Ah! Yo. Wait, what? You want this thing or not? Huh? I don't want that thing. Oh, okay. The way I see it, if the prophecy's true, it's still gonna be a long time before the water can cover everything. Yeah. Life is all about living in the moment. What use is there in worrying about the future? Yo, all low the time? key, why is this MP we'll NPC kind of bad? Get to it. You should still take it. You never know when it'll come in handy. Oh, all right, fine. Thanks. It's just that if I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. I'd really rather not. So Fontaine is symbolizing the Bible and global warming. <laughs> interesting. Betty, interesting. Swim? Yeah. I can't yet, brother. But I can't swim, right? Man, you liars. Man, I got hyped up for nothing, man. Come on. So you're the blonde traveler that everyone's been talking about. Yep. My apologies for not recognizing you earlier. That's all right, man. I'm usually a VTuber. Oh, a magic pocket? Seems you really thought of everything. I guess it's better to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Thanks. Oh, please, also thank the magician on my behalf when you get the chance. I will. <laughs> that I will. What's this? Ah, so you also believe in the prophecy. <laughs> Keep it. I won't have any use for it. What? You mean, you don't believe in the prophecy? The prophecy? No, no, I believe in the prophecy. But I also believe in another story. I believe in a thing called story God. story says that people once lived in the ocean. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live apart from it. And so they built a As big boat. That way on, they can't be people flooded. People desired to live on land and developed blood vessels, encapsulating the sea within their bodies. Thus, could people set foot on land. Oh my god. So, if you ask me, when the water rises and takes us all, it'll be like we're going home. Jesus oh, Christ. We hadn't heard that one before. But people can't live underwater. Why do they die. not care? Why does nobody here care about you dying? should probably still take it. Like, what is happening? <sighs> all right, I'll take it. I guess I just feel that being dissolved into the water doesn't necessarily mean death. What do you think it means? It's legit a free magic bag. <laughs> Why was that so hard to give away? Bro, everybody's ready to die, bro. Goddamn. Oh, you already handed out all of the magic pockets? <laughs> that was fast. So, what did people have to say? I bet you heard some uh, yeah, interesting opinions. They are stubborn as yes, shit. Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. I know they'll change their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. I mean, shit, I guess. Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? Yes, one last thing. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the Court of Fontaine. 
Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. So, you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help! Many hands make uh, Really work. small green leaves oh, and much really small yellow we'll fruit. Some maritime flowers. And we're going to need a lot of it. I remember seeing them a near the waterfront on the east side of the harbor. This is the spot where Linny wanted us to wait. There she is. Grab her! Stop, thief! Oh no! Did she notice us? <laughs> oh, yeah. She started running the other direction. What should we do? The should lack of expression her? sometimes just completely takes me out of it, bro. Holy! F uh, you're right. She might also be trying to lure us away. Oh my God, you're so right. Nothing's happened for a Stop, while. Stop, criminal! Huh? If Lenny caught the thief. Yeah, let's go. I'm Hydro Traveler. Take it easy. Wait, first off, hold up. Pay to win real quick. Oh, yeah. Are you sure that's all she took? You should check to make sure you're not missing anything else. Oh, God, my balls. N no, that was all. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I didn't notice a thing earlier. I anyway, I should be going now. Thanks again. Oh, were you returning with the thief had stolen? Bro, can we bring back the Hydro Archon? That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. By the time I looked back, she was already gone. I saw the general direction she went, but Linny twisted his ankle, and I needed to make sure he was okay. Oh, did you get hurt, Linny? I'll be all right. It's just a twisted ankle, that's all. What? In fact, it's feeling better already. If you want to play at being a hero, at least try not to get hurt doing it. Oh, he's so Imagine delicate. Imagine what would happen if you managed to derail our performance as a result. <laughs> oh, God, I you're love right, a delicate, right. weak man. Sorry, Lynette. Oh, my God. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than God, I had anticipated. God, I love soy boys. But at least we were able to get the stolen items back, so it wasn't a complete failure. What a slippery little thief. Guess things turned out all right in the end, though. Lenny's initiative paid off. All right, let's put this little detour behind us. We should go to the Court of Fontaine now. The Koreans will love them. Jesus, man. Jesus. All right. There's still a long road. Shut the up. Yo, do the thing. All right, let's see what you have to offer. Finger gun! What does that even do? What does that even do? See, spirit guns? <laughs> what does that do? Okay, I mean... Shit, what, what set does she want? Actually, I, I should probably keep her hydro now. Holy shit, man, don't hurry. Take your time. So, we ride this thing to go into the city? What an ingenious way to get around. People in Fontaine really know how to use water. This is an aqua bus. It allows people to travel between several key locations around Fontaine. It's pretty convenient, but the ride can become a little dull after a while. The scenery is always the same. That's why it's better to travel with friends. <sighs> Guys, I miss Pop Pop. mean it's still boring even when I'm riding with you? Oh, a little dog! Uh, no, that's not what I meant. It's just that, uh, well, you don't really talk that much. <laughs> <laughs>
It doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. It's the same as being at home. <laughs> hmm. Whatever. Oh, God. This Lynette chick sucks, bro. She sucks. That's what it's like to be an older brother. Good God. <laughs> She's like a fun vacuum. It's about magnet. time for us to leave. Let's get on board. Wait, wait, wait. A fun vacuum. My bad. I misspoke. Wait. Pom Pom? What is Pom Pom doing here? What the f Oh, excuse me. Aren't you the great magician Linny and his assistant Lynette? Oh my Hello. glob. I don't believe we've Cryo? Whittlebug? I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird. Oh, Pom Pom. Nice to meet you. From the Steambird, huh? We've often relied on your paper to promote our performances. Yo, chat, what do you think of the story so far? I feel like it's been fun, but I want to get back to the Hydro Archon. And uh, the other, the other big boys. It's an honor to meet you. Wait, could that be the legendary traveler who's been making headline after headline in their journey across Tibet? Amazing! You recognize everybody almost immediately! <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a reporter if I didn't know who's who, would I? Wow, today must be my day! Who knew I would end up on the same boat as so many VIPs? Could my vision finally be showing me some favor? Charlotte, what do you usually report on? Well, when there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. Wait, no! Oh, okay, good. You, dude, you made me think you. Wait, it is on! It is on! Wait, no, 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 no! From a clever enough angle, wait, 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 wait! Even if it's the same old topics. Wait, what happened? What happened? It's off! It's off! For example, reporting on how a scammer was Why was it autoing? vulnerable girls into relationships, or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a What the f five days. What that's so bullshit? Oh, that's fine and all, but what I'm really What did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? Exclusive, sensational news pieces that could shake the country. These smaller what stories are what, what, what I miss? talents. Oh, I just remembered. I've been following a case lately. Well, a series Nothing? of cases. Nothing. Okay. Actually. Good. 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 You mean good. the serial disappearances of young women. Case. Oh, and the sex scene. That's okay. That's right. These stories are the talk of the town right now, and it's probably the most mysterious case we've ever seen. If I'm the first with a draft ready to publish when the case is finally cracked, and it's the headline story in the Steambird. Oh my God. Oh, when that happens, I bet all the other reporters will shed tears. I'm gonna come. <laughs> I've already gathered all kinds of materials. I just can't wait for the truth to be revealed. The Hydro so, Archon died. Oh my god. Ding dong. <laughs> oh my god, you missed it. Okay, dude. <laughs> That's right. The first missing girl case happened almost 20 years ago. Oh my god. And ever since, after a period of time, another girl disappears. What the cases have in common is that the girls are all of a similar age and that they've all vanished without a trace. Oh, no. But the scariest part is that to this day, none of the girls have ever been found. Many suspects have been arrested over the years in connection with this case, but shortly after each arrest, another disappearance would always happen. Oh, brother, I'm on a bug. Yes, it's possible. But either way, I believe that every case has some precise truth behind it, waiting to be exposed. Yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family of those missing girls deserves some sort of explanation. <laughs> I just imagined for a second what I would do if Lynette were to suddenly disappear. I'd pay any price to get her back, and then find a way to track down the culprit. Oh, foreshadowing? Please don't imagine that, Lenny. Foreshadowing? Why you say that? Why you say that?
One of the viewers said we wanted summons. We still doing those? Yeah, give me their names first. I'll send them the money, though, and then I'll send them them later. Supposed to be pom pom, right? Life went by too quickly. Like uh, surely she's supposed to be pom pom. I should get going before I'm late. Okay, Hyman hopes we can chat again soon, Charlotte. See ya. <laughs> Bye now. Oh, be sure to stop by and see me at the Steambird when you have time. Yeah, I I will never have that. But I'll see you on the Astro Express. What a tough job! Always running around and interviewing everyone. <sighs> well, where should we go now? If you don't mind, how about we stop by my home first? Besides, I still have all Your the home? materials we collect. That place is unreasonable for me. Sure, we wouldn't mind at all. This city is so huge, Paimon wouldn't know where to start anyway. Okay. I still cannot believe some VAs are so talented they have that much range. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Oh, EXP books. How I would give a f if I was free to play. Ah! All right, where do we go, boss? Where do we go? Bro, this city is huge. This is our current abode. Oh, cool. Ah, Fremine, your home. Where oh, did God. everyone else go? I have some new friends that I would like to introduce. F is for oh, fan boys who do stuff together. <laughs> U is for under the sea. What the f Bro, what are you waffling about? Everyone is getting busier now that Who father will be returning take money soon. They're from a I suppose that can't, that use can't be helped. Allow me uh. to introduce you to my little brother, Fremenay. We'll have to he figure it out. He is a phenomenal diver. We will have to figure it out. Uh, hello. And as for anywhere, nice anytime at all, down I'm here in the deep blue sea. I guess it's a traveler. Oh, you sound very proud to have a diver as a brother, Linny. <laughs> Wait, they're brothers? Uh, Linny, could you come here for a moment? Why is everybody around this guy f depressed? Hmm? What is it, Fremine? Do you have something to tell me? Uh, go ahead. Oh, God. Um, yeah, what, do you feel embarrassed in those little short shorts? Hmm. Okay, I see. I would be embarrassed in those things, man. Is everything all right? Oh, it's nothing. We were just discussing a little housework. Sorry for the interruption. Oh, God. Oh, before I forget, the Traveler and I collected more materials to make magic pockets. Were you able to get any, Fremine? Yes. Absolutely. Oh. I went diving and gathered lots of materials. Jesus Christ. I was about to give them to you. What the f Apple That's our Fremine, always quick with the underwater work. All right, I'll take these to the workshop. What happened to this dude, man? Oh, they gonna die, bro. They all gonna die. Mm. 
Looks like rain. Jesus Christ. Oh, you're right. But wasn't it clear and sunny just a moment ago? Hmm. Fontaine's weather sure is weird. <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. It often rains on days where there are trials being held in the Opera House, but don't worry, it'll clear up soon enough. <sighs> hmm? What's wrong, Fremine? There's a legend about the rain that I tend to believe. It's said that a dragon of water once resided you're in gay. Fontaine. <laughs> Though we don't know where the dragon went, every time it weeps, the He's skies a will cloud up we already, we already beat him, bro. You gotta catch up on the story. When I was a child, my mother told me that if I wanted to go outside and play, I should yell toward the sky at the top of my lungs. No, that's Hydro how you react dragon. to summons on, on Twitch. Hydro dragon, don't cry. Okay, this guy is schizophrenic. If it's an elemental dragon, then having the power to make it rain wouldn't be very unusual. Hmm, let Paimon try something. Okay. Hydro dragon, hydro dragon, don't cry! Doesn't seem to be of any use. It is just a legend after all. You know, you might be a more popular magician if you understood the concept. I of love how much my chat hates Paimon. It's so funny. It's so funny. Sorry. It might be because we've never met the Hydro Dragon. Perhaps it can't be comforted by the words of strangers. The immediate dies of cringe whenever she says anything. <laughs> it rained for longer than I suspected. Oh, it's already getting late. Was there something you needed to do, Lenny? Yeah, some preparations for the show at the Opera House. I need to find a way to catch the last Aquabus of the day. On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Araneus. I'll have Lynette meet you at the fountain in front of the Opera House. Oh, uh, you there, bucko? Uh, are you leaving now? What is it, Fremenet? I'm in a hurry. Bro, oh, what is that hat? I get it. You feel nervous delivering the materials for the magic pockets, is that it? Perhaps we could trouble the traveler to help us take these materials nope. to the Bomo workshop nope. and deliver them to the owner there? Bro, I I'm have literally saved the planet quite three introvert. times. I am and not an errand boy. To be pretty talkative. Fremenet has always been a little afraid of her. No trouble at all. Don't worry. We're okay. The Here we go. Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm quite useless when it comes to such tasks. I'll think of a way to make it up to you. Oh, no need, no need. This will be a walk in the park for us. Okay. Holy shit, my eardrums. Oh, hello there. New customers? Looking to buy, or do you need something made? Or perhaps you're just looking for a chat with me. Oh no, we're just here to deliver some materials. Here they are. They're for making... Uh... What were they called again? Hey, I don't remember. Oh, these must be for magic pockets. I could tell right away. I've already made several orders worth now. And they just know what a magic pocket is? No, no need. They've already prepaid several batches worth. When they told me what they'd be using them for, I even offered them a discount. But they insisted on paying the full amount, saying that I had a business to run. <laughs> it seems both their hearts and their pockets are made of gold. Wow. So, is Lenny actually loaded? Oh my god. I can't say for sure, but who knows? Maybe there's good money to be made being a magician in Fontaine. Hey, is this machine what you use to make stuff here? It looks really advanced. Do it. Why use your hands <laughs> when a machine can do, do it? Work? It would be a waste not to use the latest technology. It kinda kind of just lift it up and put it back down. But where does a big machine like that get its power from? Ah, uh, well... Water? It's so little complicated. I'm not sure I can put it in layman's terms for you. Okay, if, if Lene is so loaded, why don't he do my polls for me? city is powered by indemnidium. It's a type of energy that's produced from trials. Huh? What is going on with these trials? trials produce energy? Well, I'm not completely Jesus sure Christ, that pause was myself, insane. But 
basically <laughs> that when boss was, was crazy. Session, we were just we were just hanging there for a bit. Jesus. And converts it into energy to be used all around Fontaine. So that's what its other function is? Hmm. Hyman heard that the Oratrice was created by the Archon to make judgments. But Paimon still doesn't get it. How could something unreliable like people's beliefs be turned into a stable power Do you hear this song? Oh, listen to this. Damn, that's nice. Oh, yeah. So that means the Hydro Archon relies on the machine to take the energy created by belief and turn it into power for all of Fontaine, right? Even though I've never heard anyone really put it that way before, it sounds like it makes sense. Besides Indemnidium, we have another type of energy called Numusia. It isn't produced by the power of the Archon, but it is unstable by nature. Even now, it still cannot be widely used by civilians. <laughs> I thought I'd find you hard at work, but oh, yeah. you were chatting the day away. Yeah, the Since boss told me talking, you were slacking I'm off. Sure you mind a few words with me? Few words, we get a Did couple of again? licks in. Didn't I already promise you that I'd have the more I owe to Conferry of Cabrier? Give me the month? more I want, or Why you'll be sleeping with the fishes. Yeah, but how do we know that you won't go running off by the end of this month? Yeah, Toots. percent today. The boss Wait, no? isn't gonna like that 70%. too much now, is he? Huh? You. Seems business isn't so great for the workshop. We've already finished our job and delivered the materials. Maybe now's a good time to leave? Hey, I will f them up. Hey, hold on. Before you go around trying to collect the worldwide you settle your own debts first. If Contrary of Cabriere wants to poach clients from Northland Bank, that's fine. But I'm afraid you still owe the bank a hefty sum of more. So why don't we work things out between us first, before you get back to your little conversation here? Ah, uh, you're from Northland Bank. But we said we'll pay everything we owe next month. Why are you hounding me now? We gonna whoop they ass. Uh, Traveler, Paimon. Hi, Jarkadia. I'd run into you here in Fontaine. <laughs> what are the chances? We're surprised to see you too. What are you doing here in Fontaine? You didn't want to stay in Stejnaya? Fontaine truly is a curious place. <laughs> Long story short, I've already been in Fontaine for some time now, and honestly, things have been pretty boring. But it seems that fate brought our paths together today. Not only will I have some good friends here now, but ones who always seem to find trouble. Either way you look at it, it seems things are going to get a lot more interesting now. So is he a bad guy or not? Sure, we I want still to don't avoid get it. anything that you'd find interesting. Besides, our trip here has gone pretty well so far, right, Traveler? Yeah, yeah, no. <clears throat> okay, uh, so nobody. Hey, knows. you, Northland Bank boy. Aren't you forgetting something? Yeah, to bust don't your interrupt. balls. It's not often I run into the traveler like this. Why don't you wait for me over there for a while? <laughs> he just bitches him. You kidding? Oh, Aren't man. you the one looking for us? You really expect us to sit and twiddle our thumbs while you catch up with your friends? Oh, Listen man. to me, boy. If you want your mora, fine. Why don't you come and take it? Hey, oh, man. I just said not to interrupt. Oh, by the way, Traveler, the last time I took Tonya and Tuser ice fishing, Tuser said, Oh, he's eating Hey! Nothing. That's way over the line! All right, boys, let's see who has to pay up now! Oh, okay! Uh, can you at least let me finish one sentence? Fine. Though the bank told me not to get rough with our clients. Hey, you're the we one gotta feed him to the fishes. This is an act of self defense. You two will have to be my witnesses, okay? Oh, bro, please let me use my account. Let me, let me use my character. Come on, let me fight, please. I'm sure this won't take long. Let me fight him. 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 Oh, I get to demo Tartalia. Wicked. Anyway. Let your guard down. Cool. What's your deal, Brad? How are you so strong if you're just a staffer from Snezhnaya's Northland Bank? Six thousand dollars. Don't tell me you're... Uh... Oh, yeah. now you notice. It's a little late, don't you think? 
Just make sure you understand that yep. you don't mess with I'm North a whale. Bank. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> don't tell me you're a whale! Uh, huh? Oh? Wait, what happened? Now's my chance! Wait, what? Huh. Oh, that was weird. No. Why did his vision stop working? Interesting. Are you okay? I'm not sure. It's as if I suddenly lost control of my hydro powers when I needed them. Man, what the hell? Maybe there's something wrong with my vision. Oh, they're running vision? off like little cow. But we didn't get the money for the boss. What did that happen? First time Paimon's ever heard of someone losing control of their vision. Oh no. Never mind. It doesn't matter. If I want to stay sharp, I shouldn't be relying too much on my vision anyway. Besides, I always have my delusion in case I need it. Bro, dual wields? So what are you doing in Fontaine, child? I don't see its work for Northland Bank. Well, I guess it's because I've been in a bad mood lately. Yeah, I know you got power cup like eight characters. What kind of reason is that? Wait, since when do you feel down about it? Ilo clapped ya, Ilo <laughs> clapped ya. I, I mean, shit, know. man, it's rough, but brother. Maybe I still have a lot to learn about myself. But recently, there seems to be some sort of restless power stirring inside of me. And I don't know why, but every now and then I feel like I'm in a terrible mood. Ooh, hmm. BP, maybe huh? you losing control of your vision just now is connected with that power you're feeling inside. Wait, is this a bit of a question about hmm. erectile dysfunction? That is a possibility. Oh, no. I can't remember if I ever mentioned it before, but when I was 14, I fell into some unknown abyss. It was during that time I learned nearly all of my abilities. And got tons of anxiety. The one who took me under her wing and taught me was named Skirk. She was always quiet and very mysterious. Nobody knew where she Wait, came Skirk from sounds or familiar. what she had been through. And she was always very strict when teaching me combat techniques. One time, I asked her why she was willing to take me on as an apprentice. From what I could make of her answer, it was... Because I had awakened it... And traces of it remained on me. Huh? She said that all my combat training would be useful in the future. No, it won't. But what is it? What did you awaken? She never explained that. But my guess is that it's related to a dream I saw when I had just fallen into that abyss. In my dream, is I was in the dying? deepest depths of the sea. And the boundless seabed was all around me. But in front of me appeared a whale that was so massive, I felt like I couldn't breathe. I know, I have that a effect whale? on people. <gasps> oh, that sounds familiar! When we fought against you before, you summoned a huge whale that seemed yep. to leap at us. Yep. Is that the one? Yep, that's me. <laughs> that's just an abstract form of a whale that I create using my elemental powers. Yep. It takes that shape because the scene I dreamt of the whale has always been stuck in my mind. I'll never forget it. So you bearded. used the whale as inspiration for one of your moves? Huh. Seems a little twisted to Paimon. That's cool. So why don't you just go ask your master? Maybe she knows the answer. You make it sound so easy. Ever since the incident I experienced there, I've never stopped searching for Master Skirk and that unknown abyss. Oh, did did we meet Skirk? now, and I've still found nothing. There Do we meet Skirk or no? It sounds so familiar. Falling into the abyss. No? Oh. I swear to God, like I've heard the name. Ghost story. Yeah, I'm out of leads at this point, but there's nothing more I can do. It seems that strange encounters in this world tend to be elusive like that. Oh, seems the time really flies when I'm talking with you. I just remembered I have somewhere else I need to be, so I should get going. Okay. What? More work for the Northland Bank? And no, it's more of a personal appointment. Lately, I've been sparring with some of Fontaine's official champion duelists whenever I'm feeling bored. Official champion duelists? You mean it's their job to duel? Do you know who Tartalia is yep. just like? In Fontaine, before a criminal goes to court, he reminds me they're so given much one of chance Luca. to defend their honor by requesting a duel with an official champion duelist. The champion duelists are all powerful fighters selected from wonder, among the nation's best. And the duel itself is a no-holds-barred fight like a with no specified stopping point. 
So engaging in such a duel is regarded as a symbol of defending your honor. If a criminal manages to win the duel, they'll be acquitted. But if they lose, they'll have no choice but to stand trial. I wonder if and the, the worst trial case scenario this? is that you're simply killed in the duel. This update or next? Though Wait, it's rumored what? that Fontaine has a death penalty, from what I can tell, no one has ever been officially sentenced to death. Okay. So really, the only people who opt to duel are those who have suffered a grave injustice in being accused, or those who greatly value their honor. Otherwise, why gamble with your life? Yeah, makes so, sense. So, do many people actually get out of their trials by winning the duel? Apparently, it's exceedingly rare for anyone to actually win. Fontaine probably enacted this system as a way to show that the nation respects the honor of its citizens. Besides, none of the champion duelists are to be trifled with, which is exactly why I was itching to face them as soon as I got to Fontaine. Apparently, the one I'm meeting today, Clorend, is the strongest of the champion duelists. I had been asking her for some time before she finally agreed to face me today. Well, that's child for ya! Hmm. Paimon feels like we heard that name somewhere before. Clorin. Yeah, Clorin should be the, uh, yeah. the hat girl with the big titties. Oh, before I forget, I want you to have this. What? Huh? Your... vision? You're seriously just giving it away? I'm just worried that it could become uncontrollable again. I'd be pretty upset if it got in the way of He's my duel. He's it away? So, I think I'll be better off without it for now. Besides, I just need you to hold on to it for a short while. I'll come retrieve it when I have some time you later. You think there's a lead-up for, like, buffing Tartalia? Who up to? You just want an excuse to come so, talk to us again, Surely not, don't right? You? Surely not? <laughs> Whatever gave you that idea? I'll be in touch later. I don't like how we have that. That sneaky guy. He said he's been feeling down lately, but he seemed the same as ever to Paimon. Okay. <sighs> well, since we don't have much to do for now, we might as well walk around and see the city before Lenny's performance. Uh, sorry. Paimon was just surprised, that's all. <sighs> Paimon never saw that twist coming. The murder mystery novels here are amazing! The whodunits here in Fontaine are It's so exciting to reach the mo Oh! Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I can feel when it's just a conversation oh, between me and Paimon. I feel like I don't need to listen to it. Alright, let's go. Whoa! Now this is fancy! The Opera at the Clez. What a place to hold a performance! No wonder Linny and Lynette were looking forward to it. Huh. Looks like there's a lot of people standing around the fountain up ahead. Oh, Archon. Please bless us with a bright and healthy child. We pray. I don't know why you always feel the need to ask so much. I'll be happy as long as our child is healthy and lives a peaceful life. <laughs> I guess if there are, kid, then there's no doubt they'll turn out smart. Okay, dude. Lobro doesn't realize Maybe he's an, an NPC in this game. In there sure are a lot of couples here. Why the f are you talking to me, bitch? Vache. <laughs> oh. What the f? Yeah! Huh? What's wrong? Vache. Vache. What is going on? No, Paimon didn't say anything. Are you hearing things? What? What is? What is going on? Welcome to the Fountain of Lucene. All the water flowing through Fontaine converges here. It's customary for newlyweds to come here and wish for children. Ah! Oh, Annette, you scared Paimon. Bro, what, what a delayed reaction. Mm, when he asked me to wait here for you, remember? What do you mean? There are a lot of people here right now. Why does every person in Genshin do this? Like, they hit the f whoa, dude. <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, hey, you're not trying to scare Paimon, are you? Besides, it's the middle of the day. It's not the time for eerie things. Hmm, 
I see. I see. I might be able to tell you something that could help explain the voice you heard. Schizophrenia. You need to go to a therapist. Okay, you played too many video games. In fact, you might not be imagining things at all. I suspect that what you heard is a result of your hypersensitivity to the hydro element. Others in my family have had similar experiences. It's because of her sensitivity to the hydro element? But what would hearing a voice have to do with elemental power? When do you cry, Paimon? Wait. What? Whenever Tectone says what he doesn't want me to talk. Anything? Why is everybody so Just mean to me? me? When do you cry? Uh, when I'm uh, sad? When Paimon's really sad? Oh, and when Paimon's super happy. Oh, and also when Paimon's really, really scared. And uh, you know it all the time. Then you should understand that tears contain your most intense emotions. Okay. Like I just mentioned, the Fountain of Lucene is where all the flowing water in Fontaine converges. Okay. Even the tears that fall to the ground will eventually gather here. So maybe what you heard was the intense emotion coming from someone's tears. Nah, I'm pretty sure I just have a mental illness. So, what did the voice say? Huh. If you were hearing their emotions, then Paimon wonders what happened to them. They probably Rather than blew up. About them, we should worry about my brother first. Don't let that calm look of his fool you. He tends to get pretty nervous just before a performance. So chatting with Linny might help him relax a little before he goes on stage. Oh, right. That makes sense. Let's go in and see Linny. Traveler and Paimon, good hey. to see you. I knew you two would come. Hey, thanks, man. Are you kidding? We wouldn't miss it for the world. We've been looking forward to it. <laughs> I can tell, judging by how early you've arrived. But you're actually right on time. The audience still hasn't started entering the venue yet, which means now is the perfect chance for us to take you to the best seats in the house. Wait just a moment. I'll fetch the tickets. Okay. Um, how long is this moment? The Opera House has a size. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I was say, holy uh, I've already so. reserved your seats, <laughs> and here are your tickets. Ooh, front row seats. Thanks, Linny. Don't mention it. There's no need to keep thanking me. Hey, Lenny. Could you come over here and take a look at this? Oh, I'll be right there. Seems there's an issue with the stage props over there. That's Cal, my assistant, calling me. I'll go lend him a hand. What a obnoxiously, obnoxiously large building. Okay, these doors are comically large. Or this guy is two feet tall. <laughs> yeah, One or the other. Go to our seats. You go ahead, Lenny. Uh. Oh, these should be our seats. Come on, let's sit down. Okay. Do we want to talk to the other guy, or are we going to be socially awkward? Damn, them chairs are nice. Oh, huh. So, <laughs> what are you doing here, big man? Uh. Um. <laughs> So, um, huh. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh so. Hey, traveler, maybe we should strike up a conversation with the person next to us. Since we're sitting together and the rest of the place is practically empty still, it's kind of awkward if we don't say anything. Uh. <laughs> you think you heard that or? Uh. Uh, I'm good. Uh, you're, you're up, Paimon. Uh, you little... Of course you put this on Paimon. 
Excuse me, I did not realize you felt awkward. I am terribly sorry. Holy I would be perfectly happy to chat with you if that is what you would like. Oh my oh. god, his voice. So you heard all of that, did ya? <laughs> huh. Boy, you sure have good ears. Paimon thought she was keeping her voice down. Uh, the wait, acoustics. that's not it, Paimon's. Sorry. Um, Paimon's the one who was being rude, talking under her breath like that. Yeah, uh, yeah. So uh -huh. let's talk. Yeah, but yeah, that's, uh, yeah. what should we talk about? Uh, uh, theater. Uh, oh, Paimon's got it. You're also here early and sitting in the front. Are you a friend of Linny's too? A friend, you say? Okay. Well, if Mr. Linny would like to be my friend, I would be more than happy to reciprocate. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, so cool, cool, you're cool, not cool, cool. friends with Linny then? Okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. Oh, this is getting more awkward by the second. <laughs> ah, uh, Paimon nearly forgot to make her introduction. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. We just arrived in Vaudane. Yeah, I'm the god of this planet. Saved it four times, it you know me? It is an honor to meet you two. Thank God. I've heard of your deeds across Tevat. Glad somebody and has. As required by proper etiquette, I will also introduce myself. I am... Dramatic oh, pause. Monsieur Nervillet. What an honor it is to have you here to see my show. Ah, Mr. Linney. I should say it is in fact an honor for me to see your performance in person. Bro, if somebody were to invite me to their magic show and it was just me and some other random dude in the crowd, I would be uncomfortable as f Want food? Yo, Banky, I would love some. Oh, wait, Nervilet? Could he be... What? Hmm? I saw you all chatting just now. But it seems you still don't know who Monsieur Nervilet is. Isn't he like the judge? Allow me to introduce you to Fontaine's Chief Justice. That seat is always reserved for him. It that is be to say that he's the symbol of justice and honesty here in Fontaine. Ooh! Uh, sorry for being so rude just now. Paimon had no idea you were such an important person. Dude, he looks no so taken. cool. Being Chief Justice is merely what I do for work. Nearly every person has their usual reserved seat, so I'm not so special, really. And by the way, I should probably let you know, even though I would prefer not to. What? There's someone sitting up there in the VIP seats that has been striking a pose for quite a while now. Hell I believe yeah. she is trying to give you a most elegant and impressive first impression. Cool, cool, so cool, So I think you cool. should take notice of her sooner rather than later. Otherwise, she may become flustered. You have been acknowledged. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Huh? Oh, it's Farina, the Hydro Archon. <laughs> she sure has hey, a smug and satisfied look on her face. Because <laughs> she has no idea that you saw right through her act. Very good. That is for the best. No need to pay her any more attention. We may now enjoy the show. Acknowledge me! So is this what things are like between the Chief Justice and the Hydro Archon? <laughs> yeah. Alright, please wait just a moment longer. I've pretty much finished my preparations and the performance will start as soon as the audience has made their way to their seats. Hey, I'm ready, brother. <gasps> the show is finally about to start! Ooh, boy, can hardly wait! Paimon's never seen a real live magic show before! Whoa, what is happening? Why do I feel like somebody about to die? Hmm. Uh, sorry. Paimon will try to stay quiet. SHUT THE F*** UP, PAIMON! Welcome, one and all, to the Opera Epicles. I am the star of today's show, Linny. That was one A. And over here is my sister, Lynette, who will be working as my wonderful assistant. Please, let's give her a warm welcome. Okay. Yeah! Hello, everyone. <laughs> I know she may seem to be a little sleepy right now, but that's just a sign that she's nervous. Whatever. What is happening with this chick? Now, some of you may be thinking, two vision holders who can freely manipulate elemental powers performing magic is not true magic at all. So, 
I would like to take a moment to assure you that elemental powers will have nothing to do with what you will witness on the stage today. Cool. You can just give Both away your Lynette vision? and myself can have you actually... our visions for the I show. I feel like that's not a that good idea. even the gods won't be able to help us. Oh, good point. That's what makes the show I really, really feel magic. like they should have done that. That now, seems awful. Without further ado, let the show begin. Lynette will now exit the stage to make some preparations. I know you might miss her, but don't worry. She'll be coming right back on stage momentarily. Perhaps in an unexpected way. I'm sure she'll be stealing the spotlight soon enough. Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing I should say. I feel like the magic thing isn't going to happen because that would require them to animate it, and I don't think they want to animate a magic show. But if they do, I will be pleasantly surprised. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. That's true. A magician's greatest skill... Wait a minute! ...is making things disappear. Or Wait a minute! The possibilities are endless. Oh, shit! <sighs> we get a show? <laughs> huh? <laughs> How'd you do in that? Is Dick Tone gonna fall out of that? <laughs> Oh, that was cool! Oh, damn, that this is cool! This is what you came for. These little tricks, you've seen them all before. So it's time for something truly extraordinary. Don't okay. you think? Yes. Yes, this yes, yes. a little tricky. We've already seen that. No, Using no. No! I shall make my sister vanish completely. Don't, right don't, don't, don't. Eyes. This never ends well. This never ends well. No, stop, 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 stop. Okay, well, there is infinite breath in Fontaine, so it's probably fine. It's actually quite simple. She'll just turn into air bubbles and float right out of the top. I told them to check all the props carefully. With the lid on, even air can't escape. An amateur magician would be getting very nervous right around now. <laughs> Luckily, it's me on stage. So let me show you what a true virtuoso can do. Blow it up. She's naked? Lynette, are you still there? Don't huh? go too far. We don't want to use up all our magic. Hi, I'm back. Uh-huh. How's she getting too close? <laughs> but how? <laughs> She's so cute. I wanted more! Whoa! What in the world just happened? How did he do that? Harlan didn't seem to do anything! Dude, that was cool. Wasn't Lynette inside the water tank? That was How fun. How did she disappear and then reappear out of nowhere? Magic, dumbass! How are you floating? If we could see easily through his tricks, then that would mean that his skills are still lacking. To appreciate magic, you should focus on the show happening on stage. Rather than getting caught up and trying to see that which has been intentionally hidden. Yeah, what Sea Dog said. Guess you're right. Hyman couldn't believe her eyes when Lynette reappeared. Amazing. Bro, I couldn't believe Thank my you. eyes when you shut Thank your you mouth. Everyone. I'm glad you enjoyed that performance. But our magical journey has only just begun. I've prepared even more astonishing surprises for everyone here. Was there more? The magic of transformation and disappearance can go far beyond what you've just seen. Widow cat. Can we talk about the cat? I'm sure many of you are thinking that escaping the water tank was impressive enough. 
But Lynette is still my assistant after all. Okay. In which case, I have ample time to make all necessary preparations. Why is this ominous? So, for my next trick, I will require the participation of one lucky audience member. Paimon. Please, if my assistants could bring out the magical boxes now. Paimon. There are two boxes, and only two boxes. One is here, and one is there in the aisle among the audience. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm sure many of our clever audience members have already guessed our next magic trick. No. <laughs> a swap. What? Our lucky audience member and I will each enter a magic box. After one minute, we will each emerge from the opposite box. Now, please, everyone pay very close attention to the box you see here. Don't give me any chance to make a move. Okay. Wow. How's he going to do this? Uh, hey, fast travel. this is all magic tricks, or does Lenny have actual superpowers? Let's watch. The lucky audience member will be generated by this random number selector. It selects numbers entirely at random. No, it doesn't. Even I don't know who will be chosen to participate. Yes, you do. Now then. Let's begin. Oh, uh, let me see. Oh, row seven, seat three. Congratulations. Oh, God. You now have the chance to experience magic firsthand for an entire minute. Please, come forward. My assistant will take you beside the magic box. Okay. I'm sorry, it might be a little <laughs> cramped inside, but no need to feel nervous. <laughs> Holy shit! We've carefully arranged everything for you to be as comfortable as possible. NPC 512! You don't need to do anything, but no matter what strange things may happen, don't come out of the box. If the magic is interrupted, Some who just knows grabbing where you might your end ass. up? Starts warming you might your even shit. find yourself in the fortress of I promise of Mayor, this is Pete. all normal. Oh, <laughs> okay. Huh. <laughs> All right. Before I enter the magic box, there is one more thing I need to ask the audience to do. Could you all give me a countdown? Ten. Like this. Nine. Sixty. Fifty-nine. Fifty-eight. Just keep counting down. A minute. You can go a little faster or slower if you like. A whole minute. I won't be able to see anything in the pitch black box, so I'll be relying on your voices to know when time is up. Oh, and no tricks now. If you quickly count from 60 in just 30 seconds, then I'll be in a tough spot. Ooh! Paimon kind of wants to count faster after hearing him say that! <laughs> I check out. No, no, that won't do. I can see it in your eyes. You still can't be trusted. Let's practice together. Come on, repeat after me. 60, 59, 58. 60! That's right, perfect. Keep it going. All right, I'll see you all on the other side once you've finished counting. Well, I hope he has interruption 54, resistance. 53, 52? Stop cheating! Why aren't you counting, Nervalette? I am counting in my head. I think things are exciting enough in here as it is. Merely a consequence of my identity and personality. Do not worry about me. Just enjoy the show. Oh, all right. Bro. You look so serious that Paimon thought you might be feeling uncomfortable or something. He is so cool. 40, 39, 38! Mr. Linny, are you all ready? He's so cool. Is everything ready? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just double checking the direction of the magic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The direction of the magic. Bro, we all know you have two waypoints in there, brother. For example, midair right above the audience. What? Even though he's saying that, Lenny doesn't seem nervous at all. Bro, this guy is so cool. Ah, what was that noise? Did you hear it too? Bro, Paimon's reactions are so delayed. Like, you know she has a big old dent. Not sure. Anyway, it doesn't seem like anyone's worried about it. 25! 24! 23! You skipped like 30 What's numbers! Wrong, Mr. Linny? I can still hear you moving in there! I seem to have accidentally knocked over a decoration. I'm trying to fix it, but it's pitch black in here. 
I can't tell left from right. Never mind the decorations. There's no time for that. The show is what's important. He's gonna frick up. No, that's unacceptable. I want my show to be perfect. Don't worry, we still have 20 seconds. Wait, uh, what are we at? How many seconds left do we have? 19, 18, 17. Uh, it seems things aren't quite going as planned. I apologize, everyone. It feels like you're all starting to count faster, but that's all right. I know it can be tiring to do such a long countdown. Ten seconds and change is still plenty of time. Tough. Teleport across Ten. Two cutscenes. <sighs> Swapping two people is harder two than you might think. Even a master magician like me can't guarantee I'll get it right the first time. <laughs> hey, wait. Is this the back one? I can't tell. They both look the same inside. Huh? No, that's not it. I'll try again. Seven. Hey, slow down. Six. Honestly. Five. <laughs> four. Three. Uh, whoops. Two. That doesn't count. Zero. Oh. Like two seconds left. Dead body. Oh no! No! Ah. Oh. This performance is over. Medical staff with me. Guards, secure the scene and detain all the performers. Seal the exits. No one is allowed in or out at this time. Oh? Yes, that's right. If this was just an accident, then we must investigate the cause. But if this was all part of some scheme, then... Then those accountable will not escape the judgment of the God of Justice! The God of Genshin! No need to be alarmed, you two. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Wait, she... Wait, we actually... Bro, she got blown up! <laughs> she was so scared to go in, too! Unfortunately, the person who is in the magic box has been pronounced dead. His name was Cowell, one of the assistants in Linny's magic troupe. Wasn't it Apparently, a dude? Apparently, the fireworks on stage ignited the ropes that were suspending the water tank, which then caused the tank to fall onto the stage. What the f we are still not sure why we found Cowell in the box, rather than the guest from the audience. When our assistant and died?! After an initial search of the area, the guards have confirmed that the girl is nowhere to be found. What?! It that this incident was not merely some mishap with the performance. And there are many indications that it is connected with the case of the serial disappearances of young women. Uh, the... the serial disappearances case? <gasps> Oh, That's the case that no. you mentioned before. Wait. Dude, I love when they kill people in this game. Dude, that was awesome. Bro, that boy got brutally killed. Holy shit, that boy got bodied. Like, homeboy got smashed. Dude, that is so funny. I mean... Oh, so sad. <laughs> still, still, it's actually hilarious. Okay, I mean, shit, mother should have known better. It's all right, guys. He was soul stoned. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I did not see that coming. 
I, I truly, truly, truly did not see that coming. That was actually, I'll say it, guys. That was fucking epic. <laughs> I know. I know the truth. I can see through the whole thing. Really, using such a shallow and obvious mystery as his finale. Did he really underestimate us that badly? What happened then? I say that our powerful magician, Mr. Linny, is now the prime suspect for the serial disappearances case. Nope. Huh? Nope. Why me? This whole thing was an accident. Absolutely not. No. Oh, this all occurred during your magic show, did it not? The missing girl disappeared after being chosen, did she not? The deceased is one of your assistants, is he not? The Papega no, Archon? That, <laughs> that whole speech oh, about no. magicians making things disappear was nothing more than a provocation. A bald-faced challenge. Bald? It can't be right. How can Lenny do this? He did it, brother. He was in the box on the stage the entire time. We could even hear his voice. Besides, before the show, he told us that he would like to catch the criminal behind the disappearances. He could have possibly mean catching himself. He didn't. Nah, he's chilling, bro. The Papega Archon's is way off. Save discussion for a later time, please. Lady Farina, may I assume that your comments just now constitute an accusation against Mr. Linney and his associates, and that you are pressing charges? Huh? I just think that he... Well, I, uh... I think it might be a little early to talk about formally pressing charges. Wait, what are you doing, well, what bro? Lady Farina said just now makes How did you backpedal sense? that hard in Looks a second? Like she's gonna personally deliver justice. Yeah, deliver it, Kidnapping deliver it. And murder carried out under the cover of a magic show. Lady Farina said it all. <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, my dear people. But what excites me even more than the obvious truth before our eyes no. is the opponent I'll be facing. What are we That's fighting? Right. I mean you, traveler. You'll support Linny, won't you? After all, he was the one who helped you the first time we met. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yep. <laughs> then there's no problem at all. You know, the Traveler and I already had a duel the first time we met. But with Linny's help, our little duel ended in a draw. <laughs> but draws really are the most boring possible outcome. So is this chick a kid or is she just flat like Hu Tao? I can never tell an anime. She's just flat like Hu Tao? Okay. So no more draws. Between the two of us, there must be a clear winner and loser. And what better place to hold such a riveting showdown She's 5, and deny the true victor than here, on the grandest of stages, the Opera Epicles. Okay, the only reason why I'm asking is, should I be banning people that say they want to impregnate this character? Or like, like, I, I don't know. Like, I just see so much horny people posting about this chick, and I, I can't tell if she's, like, flat or if that's just, like, weird shit. I mean, it's pretty... It's just for attention, so just ignore it. I mean, it's pretty weird to say regardless. I mean, yeah. Uh, guys, let's just... There's only a couple of them. Just, just stop being weird, guys. Okay, it's just a little bit... Just a little bit weird. Only I can say that. <laughs> It wasn't a draw. She obviously lost last time. No, not true. I understand. Charges have now been pressed, and as such, a trial is in order. Well, Traveler, seems Lady Farina has set you in her sights. But putting her dramatic rhetoric aside for a moment, I would like to ask you, are you willing to act as Mr. Linney's attorney and defend him in this case? And by defend, you mean like fight? Very well. 
The trial will be held a day from now in the Opera House. Of course it is. Both sides may investigate the scene to build their cases and search for the truth. I want to go in as unprepared as possible. <laughs> Linny and his troupe are all potential suspects and shall remain within the Opera House. The audience may begin to leave in an orderly fashion once they have been cleared by the guards. A day isn't that long. Let's see what kind of case this big shot outlander can build in such a short amount of time. <laughs> I'm really quite looking forward to hearing it. Bro, you don't even know. You're not you're even unsure yourself. Why are you acting like you've solved it? You backpedaled like two minutes ago. They're letting bro roam free? Sorry about everything that happened just now. Were you frightened? Of course! Who wouldn't be scared after witnessing an accident like that? The word is murder. Yeah, I'm a little shaken up myself. How could this happen? And poor Cal. I know you already claimed that you would defend me, but now it's just us talking. Tell me. Do you think I could possibly be the murderer? Uh... I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, with the shit that you've done, yeah. I mean, I hope you don't blame me for it. You're, you're kind of like a magician, so... A little bit. I understand. Even I'm not sure what happened, yeah. so I can only imagine how difficult it is for you to grasp the situation. I'm sure everyone sees me as the biggest suspect at this point. But, if you ask me, the whole thing is mysteries layered upon mysteries, such that all that's left is confusion. I don't know whether what happened there on the stage was purely an accident or not, and I don't know why poor Cal was in the box. As for how that girl chosen from the audience could suddenly disappear, I'm afraid I don't have any answers either. If someone tampered with my performance, then we need to figure out what they did. Guys, I'm going to stop this egg from shaking its ass in the bottom right corner. It is so distracting to me. Is there any way I can just make that egg just... just the, He's just shaking his ass and he just won't stop. How do I get him to stop shaking that big old ass of hers? I mean of his. How do we... Do, can I even... How do I... Oh my god, they're connected, so I can't stop it. <laughs> Wait. Oh god, finally. God, finally, peace. Finally, peace. Uh, he's gone. Damn it! <laughs> it's just so distracting, man. It is so distracting all right cool anyways uh back at it what the hell wrong game even a skilled and knowledgeable magician like myself couldn't pull all that off in just one minute i mean i'm sure you wouldn't say yeah i fully had the capability of doing that yeah i killed him which is precisely why we need to investigate as this book says <clears throat> The impossible could not have happened. Whatever happened must have been that which is possible. That makes sense. Paimon bought them when we were reading at the bookshop in the city earlier. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, those are freaking epic, Paimon. No worry. Paimon used her own savings to buy them. It wasn't from our travel funds. I think they How were did you money? you, Paimon? You have good taste, Lynette. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right attitude. Feeling depressed isn't going to help me now. I need to get back to my normal self. But Man, we really did not want to lose move, that guy at all. It's going to be especially difficult for Lynette and I to prove our own innocence. Good thing you agreed to be our attorneys. <sighs> Thanks for that. We'll be counting on you. Yes, I thank you so much. Bro, I didn't even go to college, brother. Investigating? Paimon has a question first. Where did Lynette go during the performance? Ah, oh, well. I'm afraid that would involve some of our essential trade secrets as magicians. 
The secrets behind our magic are past saving, Linny. I suppose you're right. The truth I do love our how is going to be important absolutely will be nobody shed trial. a tear for the stagehand uh, at all. It is truly a pity. As a magician, our magic show is a work of art. We've poured countless hours and spared no effort in perfecting it. But if revealing our secrets will help you uncover the truth behind what happened, then it will be well worth it. I agree. We should go somewhere else if we're going to discuss our magic tricks. We'll go speak with the guards, and in the meantime, you can go investigate the stage and the seating areas. Why the f do you spell guards like that? Guardies. All right, let's go have a look while the investigation teams are still here. Detective Paimon is on the case. Guard these nuts? <laughs> Hello, officer. How's the investigation going? Ah, uh, I see. You must be the traveler that Lady Farina mentioned. Yo. Listen, I'll be perfectly honest with you. Go ahead. I'd avoid getting mixed up in this whirlpool of a mess if You're I that man. You. Huh? What do you mean? Come with me and you'll see. What? The what? deceased is one of Linny's assistants named Cal. Even though he hadn't joined the troop long, he was hardworking and everyone generally liked him. So why do we kill the him? The assistants then? are usually in charge of setting Holy up and shit, inspecting he props. Holy shit! move down there, well man. As assisting with the show and keeping the crowd what the engaged. Hell? As you probably Bro saw when you were down. in the audience, the water tank suddenly fell and smashed the box with Cowl inside it. Wait, Asmund? This is the real mystery. We've already searched the scene and were unable to find any traces of the girl. However, if you look carefully, the box was positioned directly under the water tank. The ropes holding the tank were then burned by the pyrotechnics on stage, causing them to snap. All these factors lining up so perfectly makes it hard to see this as a mere accident. If anything, the more logical explanation is that the whole incident was intentionally planned, and Linny is the most likely person to have access to all these areas. But he doesn't have a motive! For fun? Are you both good friends of his? We oh, barely know him. Well, you can't say we're good friends, but we've known each other for a little while. We met him today! So in just a short time, he was not only able to win your trust, but even convince you to act as his attorneys. Oh shit, Asma got a no point! there's no such thing as magic. What the, the hell? The real trick of a magician is holding is the audience is, in I the guess. palm of their hand. I've seen a lot of cases, and I can tell you that people are the least reliable kind of evidence. Okay. Sorry, I tend to be pretty straightforward. Just know that I'm warning you for your own good. Anyway, you may investigate the scene of the crime yourselves if you're curious. Who knows, maybe you'll be able to come up with some new evidence. Yeah, or maybe I won't. Oh, should we get like a detective jur- Oh, what? We get to Ace Attorney this shit? Okay. Hey, leave it to me, boss. Leave it to me, boss. All right, I want to go up there. But I can't. You're going to make me play as Lumine. Oh, my God. Can I at least get a cosmetic for this bitch? Like, come on. What the hell? So this is the rope that broke and caused the water tank to fall. Yeah. Hmm. The rope looks pretty durable. How can it be burned through so quickly by fireworks? Yo, Mio! No way! No way! Hmm? Why are you suddenly so serious, Traveler? She was selling firearms to children. Most okay. of it was burned away, but there's still a little bit of it left. It's flash cotton. Huh. So if a rope meant to hold something was made with that kind of material in it, then that means... It wasn't an accident, it Wait, was premeditated. Why don't you write all this down? Let's take notes. <laughs> yeah, let's see Paimon's gross-ass crayon writing. Uh, 
Uh, you know what? Let's talk to homegirl over here. Oh, that's a dude. <laughs> uh, anyways. The investigation team has some new findings. See, I told you. What if the machine picked some big guy's seat? You think the murderer would have still made his move then? Yes. Sorry to interrupt, but we're helping Lenny and Lynette with their side of the investigation. What were you saying about the number selector? There's something wrong with it? You're trying to help them? <laughs> That'll be a tall order. Lenny used the machine to pick a random member of the audience during his performance, right? Yeah. The lucky girl that later disappeared. Yeah. Well, we thought there might be a serious problem with the machine, so we had it taken away for further inspection. It turns out that the okay. seat number it picked wasn't random at all. The machine picks that same number every time. Yep. I'm sure you already know that you have to make a reservation in advance to get a seat, regardless of whether it's a trial or some performance. Okay. In other words, Linny knew who would be sitting where from the very beginning. I'm no one is shocked. That much checks out. Lenny reserved our seats for us, too. Okay. Let you see why I was saying it'd be tough to make a case for Lenny. That's very true. Also, Mr. Pokey! Yo. Hmm. Even though it's bad for Lenny's case, Paimon had better write it down. Yeah, that's really not good. But the other thing is, what if somebody bought that ticket for that one specific person? So that could end up helping us in this investigation. So maybe it's fine. I am going to interact with everything. Asmund already chewed us out. Oh man, they really aren't gonna let anybody leave this, huh? Oh, that's so cool. Press E. Oh yeah, good point, good point, good point. I want to talk to some of the audience members. I also want to go check out the exact seat that they were sitting in. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'll be able to do that. Yo. I see that you're investigating the area. Yeah. Well, it just so happens that I'm interested too. Okay, why are you being if weird? If you find any new and interesting leads, be sure to share them with me, all right? Okay. We don't have too many thoughts yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then why don't I tell you my hypothesis first? Sure. The way I see it. And I'll start it with that loud thud. Okay. The thud? Oh, you mean the sound that happened during the countdown? Yes, exactly. It wasn't terribly loud, but I suspect that most people heard it. Hey, do I have dementia? I don't remember that at all. I don't remember, I don't remember a loud thought. Breath. So no one paid it much mind. But now that the incident has happened, a thud has become an important clue. Hmm. Okay. That makes sense. There was? So okay. what do you make of it? I'm of the opinion that it may have been the sound of Linny's accomplice. Lynette, perhaps. Jumping atop the water tank, or something like that. And when the pyrotechnics went off, she cut the rope, sending the water tank crashing down. I Wait, don't think she would have done that. Wasn't the noise we heard too loud for that? Perhaps the balance wasn't right, leading to a particularly rough landing. No, yeah, what a swan. Oh, that's true. Hmm. I suppose. I must reconsider. Okay, so audience doesn't know shit. Okay. That does remind Paimon, though. What was with that sound? Oh, shit. I'm hoping there's no way to, like, pick up which clues I got. Ordinary box that they somehow moved into the stage being inside it. How did he do it? I mean, I'm assuming there was like a trap door or like a waypoint. Yo. When he's still talking to the guards, I think someone will be assigned to monitor us later, but that's all right. Okay. 
When he's still talking to the guard, I think someone... Oh, so can we not talk to them? When he's still talking to okay! the guard... Okay! All right, so that's done. What have we not seen yet? Uh. Did you claim your free Lynette? Yeah, I did. Okay, they're good. Is there anything? Can I not go? Can I really not check her seat? Yo, Maurice. Oh. oh, this location has also been cordoned off because the Magic Troop members are currently considered prime suspects. The investigation team is still collecting evidence. The seats were all booked in advance, so we were able to deduce the missing woman's identity by checking the guest list. Sure, it's not like this is confidential information. We will publish it later anyway when we petition the public to help us find the missing person. Her name is Halsey. She's a painter from Fontaine who's made a bit of a name for herself. Apparently, she wasn't a regular at the Opera House, but she'd been feeling some pressure with her work lately, which made her decide to come see the Magic Show. The Magic Troop members all claim not to know her. We have looked into her social connections. It seems that she has no personal grievances or conflicts of interest with the suspects. Simply put, she wasn't related to the Magic Troop at all, which matches the features of the previous serial disappearances. Hmm. Were the victims of previous cases also chosen at random? That's how it seems to us, in any case. Apart from the fact that they were all young women of around the same age range, there really weren't any other connections between them. <sighs> okay, then. I don't need to be so formal. If you do happen to see the missing girl, please be sure to contact us. One second. It is of utmost importance that we get to the bottom of these disappearances. Okay. I miss Kafka. Yeah, what do you think, officer? Hmm, this wall sure is suspicious. Huh, maybe if I pretend to pet an invisible dog, she'll come back. <laughs> okay, where can we go now? Can we leave? Oh, why would we go out here? Hey, you! Yes, both of you! Over here! Yes! New we chick! Keep an eye on you for a while now. Sick! Huh? Okay, new girl! You mean us? Okay. That's right. If I'm not mistaken, you're also among those who wish to cut down the thorns and pursue the truth. Yep. No? Yep. And by the looks of it, you're not from Fontaine. Right. Well, you're right on the more about that one, but who are you? Who, who is she? <laughs> Have you never heard of the Spina di Rosula? Absolutely From not. Mediating disputes and providing protection to solving conundrums. You name it. Spina di Rosula does it. And I ain't calling you all that. Navia, have oh. the honor of being its renowned president. Yo. Though those who play by our rules call me boss. I ain't calling you that. I'm Silver, her attendant. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Melus. Demoiselle's various daily needs and affairs are under my purview. Huh? Okay. Boss? Demoiselle? What gives with the names? Why are you being a hater, Paimon? <clears throat> well, I am the second generation president. Melus and the others are still used to my previous title. Which is what? My apologies, Demoiselle. Should you prefer, boss, I will endeavor to use that instead. Yeah. No, no need. Okay. You don't have to Her call hair me is crazy. Just Navia is fine. Okay. If you say so. Not that we're members of Spina di Rasula anyway. <laughs> All merely The music makes this cutscene. Never mind. Really good. Now, back really, to the really, situation really at hand. Okay. What? That's right. I've always kept an eye on the serial disappearance cases. My interest stems from a matter back from my father's time. Judging from the look of things, I find Linny an unlikely mastermind. Really? We think so too! That's why we're looking for clues now! But, uh, 
how did you come to that conclusion? Intuition, naturally. My unparalleled intuition. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Farina sure was quick to point the finger at Linny without any decisive evidence whatsoever. Yep. Wasn't she? She was. But What's up with that? It's not uncommon for her. If you remember, the justice had to interrupt her and ask if she was pressing charges just to keep her from getting carried away. That's very true. Anyway, a trial begins the moment someone levels charges. And, of course, there was no way Farina was going to back down in that situation. Sounds more like you just don't trust the Hydro Archon. For what reason? Well, what's your opinion? I must admit that she can be interesting at times. But liking her doesn't mean that I'll blindly agree with her. All right, I've answered your question. Now, it's time you answer mine. Wait a minute, did that answer count? Well, I say it does. But don't worry, you won't hear any pointless questions from me. In your opinion, do you think it's right to treat a trial like it's an opera? No, I don't. Uh, absolutely not. And why would that be? <laughs> See, Silver and Malus, I told you they'd be different. Most astute of you, demoiselle. I too think that the traveler's response was most excellent. No, you don't. No matter how wonderful the script or how fervent the audience's expectations may be, the trials that go on stage here must be based in fact. And if that can be done, boss, then. All right, that's quite enough, Malus. Anyway, I like your answer. You pass with flying colors. Thank you, now, Davia. I need to make some preparations, following which our joint investigation shall commence. You two shall be my assistants. Wait, since when did we become assistants? Uh -huh. Oh, uh, well, I can be the assistant, sure. Or your companion, if you like. I'm really not that fussy. More like it. Far be it from me to brag, but I believe that Demoiselle's intuition will be instrumental in uncovering the truth. You wish to save a friend from false accusations, and we wish <laughs> to unravel before. the disappearances. In this sense, our goals are aligned. Hmm, you have a point. <laughs> You're quite the talker, aren't you, mister? And what about you over there? You seem like you've got something on your mind. Wait, why are you never in OTK stuff, Angel Town? I've been in OTK stuff for every event. I I haven't missed a single one. Like, what are you talking about? I also do steak and eggs every Monday and Friday. What, bro? What are you waffling about? I have nothing to add. Oh, alrighty then. We'll be making some preparations first. Uh, just be sure to let us know if they start revealing Linny's tricks. <laughs> Thanks! Last one? Yo, what up? But no one can freely enter or exit yeah, the house furries. at the moment. If you wish to leave, you must register your identity with us first. You didn't do Jeopardy? Uh, What's no, Jeopardy? We're not leaving. Was there we're OTK Jeopardy Lenny recently? We're as attorneys, so we're investigating the case. Were you always guarding this entrance? Yes. After the Chief Justice gave the order, everyone coming in or out must undergo a strict inspection. So, the missing girl couldn't have left from here. At least, not from that point on. Okay. I doubt there was much opportunity then, either. How can you be so sure, hmm? Well, because I was in charge of security near the entrance at that time. I couldn't see Linny's performance from here, which was quite a shame. Just my luck. But still, I did not abandon my post. And I stayed put no matter how loud the applause was. If someone had so much as even approached the door, 
I would have noticed it, let alone if they had tried to leave. Oh, you're talking about OTK Jeopardy with Emma and NMP? It's because it's going to be a weekly series and, uh... Wait, and by that I mean, guys, I, I got kicked out of OTK. I'm not supposed to be public about it yet, but, uh, yeah, I'm out. That's why I'm back in Genshin Impact. That's all I have. You know, they gave me the old boot. Gave me the old boot. You know? You know? I just brought too much negative PR. And I was ruining Mizkiff's reputation, so they had to give me the old boot. You know, they had to... That was, I was a bad look for him, guys. I was a bad look for him. <laughs> uh, 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 yep. Here's what it is. We Melazines are good at that sort of thing, you know. So, it's safe to say the girl couldn't have left through here. Plus, e -Rob told me to leave. All right, thank you for your help. This will be useful info. These furry f are low-key creepy as f to look at. Am I crazy? I don't like how they have hair. We've checked everything of note here like, at the performance bro is venue. freaky looking. Hmm. Paimon wonders how Lenny's discussion with the guards is going. I'm not going to watch it now. Shall we? Ooh, hey, man, you should. Interesting, huh? Now. We're about to see how magic is made. Okay. Understood. Then I will be going with you. Just so you're aware, I will be monitoring your actions and making notes as necessary. Uh, Very good. Thanks for being so agreeable. I'd pull a rose out of my hat as a gift for you if I could. You may you spare can't, the man. You must suck. I'm just doing my job. Man, you must suck, man. You've arrived. Uh, who's this? Nadia. <laughs> she cheats in Call of Duty. Guardian Angel. If you've got a problem, I've got the firepower. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little carried away there. Call me Navia. I'm a partner of theirs, and we'll be helping investigate this whole situation. And these are my companions. Would you mind if they join as well? I hey, bring them. Who? Hmm? Fine by me. Oh, new helpers? I would be most grateful. How was that blade? Well, let's just say we're tagging along. It's not every day you get to see the secrets behind magic performed on such a large scale. <laughs> I appreciate your kind interest. Come with me. We'll be heading below stage. What do we think of Navia? Huh? Below stage? Yes, a world of secrets is hidden beneath this magic box, prepared specifically for this switcheroo trick. I feel like she's okay. But she before looks I reveal really cool, everything, but I wish you she had should more have personality. a look first. Notice anything strange here? Sorry, Farina kind of makes everybody else look uh, more boring than they are. You'll like her more later on? Okay. I'm yeah. not trying to be dramatic. Cool. Remembering the details of a trick will help you understand the methods used to perform it more easily. Okay. Huh. Weren't there balloons and other decorations here? Where did all that go? Ah, good eye. That said, you're still far from discovering the answer. Uh, the back? You mean the inside of the door? What's different about it? Paimon didn't notice anything. <laughs> oh, should, I don't know. Indeed. I was just guessing. I thought you might not be able to catch that, given that you were sitting in the first row. The back of this door was patterned. Those patterns are now gone, replaced by a smooth wooden board. Oh, so shit. What'd if that you mean? put two and two together, what do you get? There's another box. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's go. I'll tell you how it works as we head down. Oh, so there was a passageway under the magic box! Yeah, but he, like, did that in, like, half a second. Are we sure it's just not just magic? <laughs> I knew you'd figure out most of it as soon as you saw this place. The two magic boxes are positioned right above the two entrances of the tunnel. See this flatbed trolley? The box yeah. with the lucky audience member in it would be shuttled over to the other side using the trolley. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I knew this that there was a, a trap door, and for sure. And even rotate, ensuring that the box will face in the right direction. 
I see. So that's the purpose of the box inside another box. Precisely. The inner box would descend after the audience member was put inside and be moved along the trolley, all while the outer box would remain on stage as if nothing had ever changed. Okay. So that's how you did it! Once the box was lowered, the trolley would store some energy through this device here, with which it would complete the rest of the steps. The audience would member would only be able to feel some slight movements in the dark, and by the time she walked out, she would already be back on stage. Okay. Right! You were talking that whole time, and you even came out for a moment near the end! Why didn't they just say because we were magic? Uh, yes, a phonograph operated by Lynette was used to achieve that effect. Oh, how? My assistant and I had already scripted our conversation beforehand. When the countdown began, I had already gone to the opposite box via a tunnel using Wait, so that ladder. The, how was the first trick done? What about Lynette? Am I nuts? Where was she? I was in the mezzanine space in the back of the box. Oh, interesting! That's how we were able to coordinate Lenny's lines with the assistant. Wait, but, but how, and, how did they do the, the way, first trick then? I was the one who walked out of the box at the end. I mean, we are twins. All it takes is a change of clothes, and no one can tell who's who. <laughs> and that's my favorite yeah, part Yeah, but she of this got trick. boobs, though. Only Lynette and I can perform it. But she got titties, though. So that's how it all worked. Wow. Every detail you revealed was more amazing than the last. Lynette would briefly walk out of the box and then go back in, jumping into the tunnel and escaping before the box on the trolley could finish ascending. Okay. And then I walk out of the other box in the audience area, and the trick would be complete. The operative word here being would. But as right. you saw, Cal was in the box, not our audience member. She, on the other hand, mysteriously vanished. Oh, no. We really don't know how that happened. If not for that interlude, this would have been an astonishing trick. I probably never would have figured out how you pulled it off. I figured it out immediately. And yet, to think <laughs> that someone was able yep. to use this magic trick to commit a crime. Yep. Could we have a look around? I think we can come up with some more leads. This is the scene of the crime. So Linny and Lynette are not permitted to stay here. I'll escort them back up. Yes, of course. No need to be so strict now. I won't disappear into thin air, you know. Who do you think the culprit is? Thanks, Probably everyone. Probably Tartalia. We're counting on you. And maybe the, the stagehand was actually, actually an evil man, and so they had to kill him for justice. I mean, shit, or maybe it was my ass. I'll, pro I'll probably just get blamed for it regardless. Okay. Uh, the floor is wet. Please be careful not to slip. Okay. Speaking of which, why would there be water here? Because it was spilled. Oh, hi, my nose. It's one of those tricks where you pour water into a jug and then flip the jug over only for the water to disappear. And here's a broken vase. Huh. Did the trolley knock it down while moving? Oh, that was uh, the thud. That can't be. The trolley moves along tracks from start to finish. It couldn't have hit the vase at this distance. Okay. Hmm. Let's note this down too and think about it later. Okay. Uh. Huh. What's this? Looks like a hook tied to the end of a rope. Is that the leader of the moles? There's all kinds of odds and ends here. Perhaps it was a prop for a different trick. But why would it have been left here? Well, it was probably somebody Whatever else's. it is, let's make a note of it first. Okay. Oh, these are the clothes that the lady chosen from the audience was wearing, right? Her clothes are here. What the f She's nowhere to be found. Well, that's probably not good. Right. 
And do you really need to do that if you're kidnapping them? Well, for a certain type of kidnap, yes. Ugh, this is so confusing. Paimon doesn't want to be a detective anymore. Okay. But there's no way they would have that in Genshin. Let me double check. I'm going to go deeper. Ah, there's more. Ooh, a secret tunnel. What is this place? Oh, that is sus. It seems someone could fit through here. Huh. Could this have been the suspect's escape route? Hmm, alone, perhaps. But if they had to pull another person with them, this space would be too narrow. Maybe Wait, young women are disappearing by evaporating like the prophecy was foretold. Oh, you're right! Let Paima write that down. Seems we're just about done investigating. I'm not done till I get every goddamn hit, brother. Let me help. Is there a way to skip the Sumeru Archon quest? Uh, yeah, just get some coffee. Well, we've ascertained the state of the crime scene. Let's find a place to sort out our findings once Malus returns. Seems to me that there are several things that don't add up here. Okay. Apologies for the wait, demoiselle. So, what did the guards say? Did the criminal escape through the vent? They believe the odds of that are very low, since the vent leads to the opera house's basement. Okay. The guards have checked the area carefully. No one left through the basement during the performance or after the incident, and no one was found hiding there. So the tunnels become like a secret chamber then! You know, like the kind you usually see in novels! Uh, I would, would seem so. Hmm. The plot thickens. Halsey's disappearance and Cowell's death are both quite inexplicable. Okay. No wonder Farina was so confident in her accusation. All the current evidence points toward Linny and Lynette. Does the quest get better words, from here or no? Are very likely to be upheld unless we like, is there still dope shit waiting progress. to happen? Charges. Oh, good, good, good. Exciting. So if the charges are upheld, they'll announce a sentence? That's right. This is how a trial goes in the Opera House. Okay. During the proceedings, the Chief Justice and the Oratrice We'll hear statements from both sides. Okay. That's right. This is how indemnidium is produced. The statements it, from both into sides. what? The defenses from attorneys. What the f is that? And even the audience's emotions will all be projected on the oratrice. Cool. And simply, it's as if the oratrice has its own will and is a judge in its own right. This also precludes any kind of favoritism on the part of the chief justice. Not that this has ever happened anyway. Once both sides have finished speaking, the Chief Justice will make his final decision. This, too, will be used by the Oratrice as a reference. Then, finally, the Oratrice will be consulted by officials. The result it returns is the will of justice itself. Huh? So that machine is the one that actually decides? I'm on that never let called the shots. Who? Oh? Nivulet. In practice, there is very little difference. Both have always come to the same judgment, which is why people have great faith in the Chief Justice. Ah, yes, the guards also asked me to convey that none of us will be allowed to leave this place before the trial. Huh? Why? Bro, this, this stream is 90% Twitter because smut. we've chosen to act as the Thanks, twins' man. proxies, that makes us persons related to the case. Yeah, Nuvulet and Farina <laughs> are the two best characters so far. We're with outside parties. Or that we might find outside help to disrupt the case. And even if that were not so, it could prove problematic if we happen to spread key information about the case ahead of time. I'm ready to break out at any time. Okay, Silver. Damn, bro. Whoa, whoa. That's the cleanest that. NPC, NPC I've ever seen, that said, brother. Mother clean!
Of course. I just hope you don't mind the lack of options. I'm afraid that catering to all tastes is not in the cards, nor is any guarantee of balanced nutrition. In that case, let's just sort out our findings together here. Pity. I was hoping to take you to try some of Fontaine's famous desserts, too. Why don't I we? I mean, what better way to properly think through our findings than over some tea and sweets? Well, then why don't we? Breaking out suddenly doesn't seem like such a bad idea after all. Just kidding! Just kidding! Paima will still do her best, even if there are no snacks. Okay, fat. Hmm? What do you mean, no snacks? Of course we'll have snacks. If we cannot buy some, then we'll simply make some. <laughs> huh? Here? But how? Understood, demoiselle. Everyone, please come with me. <laughs> Why is fat so funny? Wait, you're carrying a portable stove with you? Yeah, it's my bath later. Yes, I must be prepared to meet the demoiselle's baking needs whenever the fancy strikes her. I have eggs, sugar, and almonds at the ready. Actually? <laughs> Good work, you two. Then I'll get to it. Please sit tight for a moment. You'll get to taste my awesome snacks soon enough. Wait, we're, we're actually just Three cooking snacks? Quite the interesting group. Oh, so yummy! Still in the oven. Oh, it's even better now. Paimon can't stop drooling. Bro, that looks Remember good as. That stuff around. Paimon thought you'd have them do more during the baking process. But you ended up doing the entire thing by yourself. Beating also, where did they get the table from? Everything. Am I nuts? I where did the table come from? And I was giving encouraging smiles. Wow! Okay. Uh, I was just thinking. Aren't All the you magic bag. Your fancy dress so, dirty, so simple. Egg whites and baking like this? They baked one up. <laughs> well, I don't think it's carved in stone anywhere that fancy ladies can only read books, sip tea, ride horses, and play the piano. I just really enjoy making snacks. Don't underestimate beating egg whites, by the way. It's a real arm workout. You also need to beat them to just the right consistency. Yeah, I got something else you can beat that's a real good arm workout. Give these a try. It's try called my the worm. Oven. There's three for each of us. Only three? <sighs> yep. <sighs> well, <clears throat> eating too many sweet treats might send all that sugar to your head. Yep. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to think clearly about the case on a sugar rush, would you? No, of Tea course not. Tea is ready to be served as well. This Techie is Y, I'm a broken favorite. man, guys. Strong black tea with a floral fragrance that clears the mind and lifts the spirit. Yo, tea is something low-key that's underrated as shit. Bro, I've been doing it up with chamomile tea every night. That shit zens you the f*** out, like, immediately. Like, it zens you out so quick. Like, I enter, like, a f meditative state where, like, everything and nothing I can f see in my life. No need for concern. It's good. Try, dude. Dude, try it. Try it. Try it. If you have anxiety, try it. If you have a hard time sleeping, try it. It is good. Yo, right, Pink, then. what's the type of tea we use? <clears throat> Down to business. As okay. Paimon mentioned previously, the tunnel seems to be something of a secret chamber. However, we can assume that Linny and Lynette were not alone within it. Some criminal also occupied its sealed confines. The magician twins could have committed the crimes, of course. But they lack any logical motive. Exactly! Why would they do such a thing right when everyone was watching? Very true. The flower vase and the thud we heard during the performance could indicate some altercation between Halsey and the criminal in the tunnel, resulting in the shattering of the vase, the discarding of her clothes, and her abduction. Perhaps the criminal thought that since she was chosen from the crowd, she would be too easy to identify if she was still wearing the same clothes. I'm going to just say this real quick. So we've been doing this quest for about six hours, right? And it's crazy how if this was a Honkai Star Rail quest, we would have probably already became a god, killed eight people. Uh, somebody would have died. Uh, and then we probably would have blown up the sun. <laughs> 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 
know? That game is rushed? No, that game is good, bro. That game is good. I love Honkai Star Rail, brother. But this is nice. You know, we are merely frolicking in the meadows, enjoying every bit by bit of this little quest. Paimon thinks that makes sense, but the real trouble is... Yeah, who is it? <sighs> True. None of the clues we found thus far support the existence of this third person. But the only people left to consider are both technically victims. Whether it's the missing girl, Halsey, or poor Cowl. Yeah, you mean <laughs> dead Cowl. Could Halsey have secretly made modifications to the magic props uh, in order to murder Cowl before making her escape? Yes. Yes, a hundred percent. You think Halsey killed him? Or am I nuts? I mean, surely the girl isn't the killer. Right? Surely the girl didn't kill him? That's right. And even if she had tampered with the setup, she would need to understand the entire oh. trick to pull it off. It was Obama? Why does she have any motive? The guards said that she has never had any dealings with the Magic Troops members. Okay. Uh, were we not thorough enough in our search? From the sound of things, this is turning into an impossible case. No, what if there's no third person? Your macarons are amazing though, Navia. They smell great. They're nice and crisp and super sweet. There is no third person. She rigged it. She knew to sit there. She killed the guy. <laughs> they are my specialty after all. And I see you've already had five of them. <laughs> yep. It's that simple. What? Five? Oh, that can't be right. Why not only count three? Honest! Okay, fat boy. Please don't worry about it. At my age, a few less sweets might actually be a good thing. Uh, no, no. Being greedy is one thing, but Paimon knows how to count. Besides, Paimon knows that if she ate too many, then others wouldn't have enough. Wait, even you don't believe Paimon? Uh, how could you? <laughs> if Paimon <laughs> ate those two extra macarons, then may they turn into stone in her stomach! Blows up. <laughs> All right, we get it. Well, I suppose one of us might have gotten too engrossed in our chat and eaten them by mistake. Oh, did you? Belouse, set up the stove again, if you would. Huh? What are you doing? Making sure everyone gets three macarons, of course. Oh, that is so cute. Exactly. We don't want to trouble you. As you wish, demoiselle. Demoiselle. And I have the egg, sugar, and almonds. Balls. Uh, well, this really is your hobby, huh? Oh, well, leave him alone. I'm going to have another look around the area. I don't know what we're looking for yet, but we've still got some time. As attorneys, I suggest the two of you think the case over again. Okay. It would be awkward if you got all tongue-tied on stage during the trial. Okay. Oh, it was nothing. A small task for the Spina di Rosula. Silver, Malus, it's time to go. No one calls Maybe you that. Find anything new. All right, it's time to. Oh, is it trial time? We've gotta get our defense ready for the trial. I'm ready. Huh? I'm ready. I have some thoughts. Good plan. Impossible things don't just happen. We'll get to the truth one way or another. I already know what happened, Pyro. Uh, just relax. Even if everyone else suspects Lenny and Lynette, at least we will be supporting them from the stands. Besides, I doubt Farina understands any more about what happens than we do. I do. <laughs> Thanks, Navia. Well, 
We'll be going then. Let Best me say you. what I think as I figured it out. I know what to say. Let me say it. Ah, oh, finally, you're back. Well, how did your investigation go? I've solved it. To be honest, you might be disappointed. Nope, I've solved it. No, no. We're already very grateful that you were willing to help. Now, Let me now, say don't what you I think. You all look disappointed. Don't tell me that your <laughs> investigation came up empty handed. She's the best. That was to be expected, of course. The guilty can never produce proof of their innocence. She is the best. But don't let that stop you. I shall be terribly disappointed should you, <laughs> my most anticipated foe, conceive so easily. Oh, bro, she's such a papega. Since both parties are present, I declare that the trial regarding the magic show incident is now in session. Firstly, in order for the audience to understand the causes and results of the incident, could we please have Mr. Linney explain the trick? Yes. Yes, of course. I will explain while Lynette demonstrates on stage. All the necessary items have been prepared. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Linney. In that case, I take your statement to be that oh, like you ran to and remained hidden within the magic box in the audience stands once the trick began, and thus could not have committed the crime. Very Is this true. Correct? Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. In that case, I call upon the prosecution. Lady Farina, do you wish to refute his statement in any way? Why, of course I do. Allow me to take the first shot and break this case wide open. Okay. Mr. Lenny is clearly lying. Objection! There is no way you could have been in the box the whole time if you were to abduct Halsey and murder Cowell. In fact, I'd say you were hardly in that tunnel at all. Interesting. That is simply your hypothesis based on the presumption that I'm guilty. Oh, is that so? And if I may ask, what did you hear while you were inside your box? A vase shattering. The roaring countdown of the crowd, of course. That's how I kept track of the time and built anticipation for the finale. And you didn't hear anything else at all? Nothing that might leave an impression of any kind? No, nothing. I see. But when the count reached 30 seconds or so, there was a thud. One so loud that I believe practically everyone heard it. That's true. Hey, hang on. Something's not right here. Uh-huh. Yeah, wait, well, how could he not hear that? Yeah, I'm sure he could have heard a noise that loud from inside the box. What? That was right by the box, and I definitely heard the thud. Oh, no. Look at those scales. Could those mean... Oh, no! <laughs> well then, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to use the words of the magician himself. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. That's Indeed, true. It seems his alibi can also collapse in the blink of an eye. Yep. <laughs> okay. Of course. She is I spinning. I armed myself to do far more than smash your alibi. Confidence cannot go unfounded, and my foundations are rock solid. <laughs> She's me, so aren't cool. Are you and Lynette actually from the House of the Heart? Why are you saying it like that? Why are you saying it like that? What does that mean? Wait, they're for two? -way? What? Huh? N no? No wonder they did something like this. Wait, no, they're not. So the serial disappearances were the Fatui's doing. Huh? Now it all makes sense. I've got a feeling that what happened on stage probably wasn't just an accident. Wait, what are they? What are they talking about? That's irrelevant. Our identities have nothing to do with what happened. What are they what are they talking about? What Indeed. are they talking about? Then perhaps you could tell us everything that happened during that one minute. Okay. Uh. Your first priority is to prove yourself innocent after all. 
I'm sure there is little that needs to be kept secret now. Unless your script already has holes in it. Holy f***, she is grilling them. <sighs> the Outlander is speechless. My, oh my, don't they look <laughs> flabbergasted. <laughs> Now comes the oh my god, she's so funny, bro. It's almost too easy. She is so funny. Good thing I made all those preparations. Seems the all-nighter I pulled last night is really paying Amazing off. job, Farina. Amazing job. Hey, Winnie. Why didn't you tell us this before? Bro, she is so funny. Order, order. Mr. Linney, allow me to re-establish the facts. Lady Farina has raised two points. First, when the thud was heard in the Opera House, you were neither in the box nor the tunnel. Second, you and Ms. Lynette are both members of the House of the Hearth. Are these claims true? <sighs> oh God, we're doubting him? No, there's no way. No, 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 there's no way. No, Farina, you did not solve anything, you papega, bro. No, 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 this did not have work. It's okay. Please answer my question, Mr. Linney. I'm sorry. Yes, they're true, Your Honor. What is going on? Oh my god, we are well, that's it. We might as well move on to the sentencing already. What is going what on? Do do now? I am Kira. Granted. My client has withheld some key information. In that case, what is your request? A brief adjournment. There are things that must be discussed. Is that really necessary? They're already as good as guilty. Shut the f up, Twitch the chat! And deceived their own attorneys. What is there left to discuss? Order! Order, I say! Your request is reasonable, and we shall adjourn. Is he really going offline only at 7 hours and 40 minutes? Hour. Is he, he's barely so even a streamer! You would stick to Mr. Lenny's defense even after knowing what you do now? You certainly have more professionalism than I thought. In that case, my dear audience! Let's allow the joy of victory to steep for a little while okay, longer. Okay, dude. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> oh my god. She's so ridiculous, bro. She is so ridiculous. Oh god. Tell me. Well, Tell them everything. This is awkward. I didn't think the Hydro Archon would dig all that up. I hope I'm you sorry, find some peace of mind in your lifetime. Yeah, sorry. Oh god, they're actually for Chewie? Paimon just knew where to start. We trusted you two. We based our entire reasoning on the what assumption is the house that you of the heart? Not to set the wrong tone or anything, but Paimon's really mad. Shut up. I'm sorry. I know you're angry, and reasonably so, but please, let me explain. Okay. I know you've clashed with the Vatui several times before. I wouldn't be surprised if just hearing the word is enough to make you upset. But our organization is very, very large, and the Harbingers have very different personalities and goals. Right now, we want to save people, as many as we can. That's Save right. them from what? I'm sure we're on the same page when it comes to this nation and the disaster that its people might face. Save them from what? I knew if it weren't for our respective identities, we could become good friends. That's why I didn't wish to flat out lie to you, but chose to hide some details instead. The truth is very important, but being completely transparent about everything would see us spending more effort than we need to. Okay. Right. So, you be the judge. I mean, that's not Heck, a good look. If I were you, I fear that I'd even struggle to trust me at this point. Yeah, I mean, you're kind of just like, hey, I'm from the bad guys. You met a Fatus who works as a magician, a trickster by trade. What do you mean a Fatus? All by coincidence, too. What do you mean Fatus? But still, I'm asking you to trust me. I am no criminal. At least, not in this case. Sorry. 
please forgive us. Oh. Yeah, well, why would you lie to me, you brother? Don't say that, but... Okay, so what is going on here? Right. Let's hear your answer first, and no lies now. No lying. Of course. I'll answer any question you ask. Okay. We've been trying to find out how the Oratrice operates. We want to know why it has a consciousness. Why can it deliver sentences accurately? Uh, am I stupid? During what the f*** is an Oratrice? We've learned that the machine's core is beneath it. From that moment on, Lynette and I have been designing this box swap trick okay. with the objective of getting close to the core. Is that what you oh, the scale. Okay, 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 okay. That's right. In okay, truth, okay. the audience would take about 75 seconds to count down from 60, while I would only need 15 to get to the opposite box. Okay, makes sense. So, after jumping into the tunnel, I accessed the Opera House basement via the vent, and went to investigate the room in which the core is stored. Okay. That air vent was created during the construction of the tunnel specifically to execute this step. What'd you find? Well, nothing. As soon as I reached that room and was about to investigate, I heard someone's voice. Who? Tartalia? Which should have been impossible, of course. I was quite certain that I was the only one in the room. That okay. voice seemed to recognize me and tried to speak to me. I chose to err on the side of caution and retreated the way I came. On the way back, I saw the broken vase and the clothes on the ground. But the countdown was almost finished, so there wasn't time to give it any thought. Okay. After that, the homicide occurred just as you saw. Yes, it was brutal. Well, that explains why you didn't hear the thud. That would explain why he didn't hear the thud. That is very true. Okay. Because of that prophecy I told you about, of course. Yes. We must know all we can about this nation's secrets I, in order I to don't deal blame with that you. prophesized crisis. That's the only way we can save everyone. So, okay. there you have it. The whole truth. I swear, I didn't hide anything from you this time. It was never my wish to proceed under this cloud of mistrust either. But, like I said earlier, you can be the judge. If you want to leave because you don't trust the Fatui, there's nothing I can do to stop you. Why don't you just tell me how did you get involved with the Fatui? Paimon will follow your lead however you choose. They're quite literally not. We've seen all the members of the Fatui. Well, like, what are they talking about? Oh, God! Should I defend him? Okay, let's think about everything we know. So... There's that other blonde kid, and they responded to, I believe they all have the same father. Maybe one of the Fatui is their parents, and they're rebellious kids. Maybe they're pretending to be part of the Fatui to get inside and get personal information. Why won't they just tell me what it is? Tartalia is here for some reason. Tartalia's Tartalia is their dad. No. Uh there's Navia. There's Farina. There's Sexy ass judge. Arlachino's part of the quest. Probably. She had that whole trailer where she clapped and pushed them over. Perhaps Arlachino is their mother. Because clearly she's related to them. She was in the crowd during the cutscene. Perhaps it's Arlachino. And perhaps they don't like it because then why would Arlecchino push over her own kids? There's also that really f old dude with the mustache.
I'm under the impression that they're probably part of the Fatui. They don't want to be part of the Fatui, so maybe they're a part of it against their will and also not recognizing the cutscene cinematic because I think the girl killed the guy. I don't know why unless that girl's actually Arlecchino in disguise because Dottore also does disguises unless the girl was Dottore. Was the girl Dottore? That would be nuts. Because Dottori did do the previous disguise in the other quest. Maybe I just have, let me just let me just play the game. 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 Okay. The game. Thank you. No spoilers. No spoilers. I'm not looking at chat. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. The current problem is that the skills are tipped pretty badly against you. They are. 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 Think she gets what you mean? Yeah, we got it. Yep. We'll we'll clear his name. We'll clear him. <sighs> Yaylon, they're <f> <laughs> Oh man. Oh man. Okay, let's figure it out. Let's figure it out here. Let's figure it out. Both parties have returned to their positions. Let us continue the trial. Uh, are Lucino's involved last we left off, Mr. Linney acknowledged the new evidence presented by Lady Farina as fact. Therefore, Lady Farina may continue stating her reconstruction of the events. Okay. Okay. Ugh, that took long enough. Now then, if everyone would lend me their attention. Okay, you have my queen. At this stage, let's revisit that scene from Linney's perspective. Bro, she is such a little shit, bro. Okay. Based on the opposite account of events, you can identify loopholes in their statements. Use evidence and clues obtained during the investigation to refute any erroneous assertions of fact and replace them with new inferences. Use your refutations to convince the audience and obtain more support from the people. The origins will display as shifts clearly. When you find and refute all incorrect content, you complete the cycle of refutation and unveil the truth. Oh, this is cool as shit! As the what the f is this? Entered the tunnel. This is so cool. When the flatbed trolley passed, okay. he opened the box and got into an altercation with Halsey, which caused the loud thud. Okay. He did not realize that this sound could be heard by everyone in the opera house, which is why he claimed earlier that he could not hear the sound. Okay. Finally, he used the vase to knock her out before making her change clothes to prevent others from recognizing her. I don't know about that. At this time, Cowell arrived in the tunnel, having heard that strange noise, and caught Linny red-handed. Nah, no way. So Linny no way. proceeded to knock him out too before stuffing him into that box. No, absolutely not. God, her voice actor is so After good. It, Linny passed the unconscious Halsey to his accomplice through the magic box. No, the audience I will, stands. I will free our boy. We're operating the devices such that Cal's death would be ruled an accident. I will clear our man's name. I will clear our man's there name. You have it. That's the truth nope. behind what happened. No, nope, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Objection. Does the defendant's side have any objections to Lady Farina's description of the hey, events? Hey, bitch, I don't got one. I got five. The key to refuting Lady Farina is yep. the order of events. What Linny experienced and what he saw. Yep. It's time. I will clear our mans. Free my mother boy! Identify. Okay, Linny claims that he headed into the chamber containing the Orator's Corps upon entering the tunnel and did not witness the crime taking place and thus did not hear the thud. No one left the opera house during the magic show and after the incident happened, only those who had their identities cleared by the guards could leave. True. The voice in the Orator's Corps chamber... Linny claims to have heard a mysterious voice within the chamber that houses the Oratress core within the Opera House underground structures. Young lady's clothes. The clothes belonging to Halsey, the lady who went missing. 
Oh, let me move this for the boys. Uh, boys, if you're enjoying this, please follow the stream. I would also love a sub. Thank you. This is fun. The clothes belonging to Halsey, the lady who went missing, were found in the tunnel. The reason for this remains unknown. Linne must have been very confused when he saw them. Strange sound during the magic show. During the switching performance, there was an audible thump that many audience members heard. Okay. Okay, so the loud sound was from Linny and Halsey's fight, but Linny claimed that he heard nothing in order to cover up the to, to cover the truth up. Linny knocked Halsey out using a vase and removed her clothes to prevent her from being identified. However, was Linny really in the tunnel at the time? Linny knocked Cowell out. Cowell walked in on Linny, so the latter knocked him out with a vase leading to the victim's death. The existence of evidence indicates that when Linny returned to the tunnel, the crime had already taken place, and all Linny saw was a meticulously designed magic prop activated, causing the water tank to crash down and making everything seem like an accident. Okay, let's identify a loophole. Okay. Oh, God. Linny knocked Halsey out the base and removed her clothes to prevent her from being identified. Okay. So there's five pieces of information and there's five options, meaning each one should line up. Okay. Right. Okay. So let's say that Let's Okay. So this happened. Okay? Okay. Hold up. He only witnessed traces of the yep. aftermath. Yep. Okay. Got it. Okay. Linny knocked Halsey out using the vase and removed her clothes to prevent her from being identified. However, was Linny really in the tunnel at the time? Hmm. It was a mysterious voice. Linny That's what I meant to press. That That's what I meant to press. Yep. Yep. This is the actual truth. Yep. And then loud from Linny and Halsey's fight. Enter the tunnel, which makes sense. The loud sounds from Linny and Halsey's fight, but Linny claimed that he heard nothing in order to cover the truth up. Refute. According w. to Linny, he left via the vent yep. after entering the tunnel. Yep. He couldn't have had that altercation with Halsey. Yep. 
Bada bing, bada bitch. Attention. Yep. Police Detective Paimon yes, has sir. To say. Yes, sir. Okay. When the countdown started, Linny did indeed go into the tunnel. Right. But he immediately used a vent to access the Opera House basement, which is where the underground core of the Oratrice is stored. True. Once he reached that area, he heard a voice in what should have been an empty room. It should have. he felt something was amiss, he returned immediately. Very true. The crime scene had already developed by the time he reached the tunnel again. And in order to complete the magic trick, he did not remain there for any length of time. Very true. Finally, he reached the surface. And that was when the accident happened from his point of view. Therefore, he's innocent. Okay. We have tipped the mother scales. Did it. What can I say? Uh, why are we telling them that he ran into the vent isn't illegal? I know, right? Oh, I always flick an epic, Paimon. You believe that he knew nothing of the incident? Yeah, what are you gonna say? My man is innocent! <laughs> My reasoning? Go ahead. Go ahead. If that's the case, then if Cowl hadn't entered the tunnel, yep. who was the entire setup meant to kill? Yeah, that's right. Assuming that what you say is true, Linny only needed to kidnap the young girl to cause yep. a new disappearance case. Yep. What would the point of killing someone on stage be? Very true. Oh, they have a point. Yep, we do. <laughs> That's right, you tell them. Tell them. And that by their partners of mine. Yep, you're right. To turn things around. Oh, well, your denial is very strident. I'll give you that. But what proof do you have to back your claims? You've been talking this whole time and you haven't moved your mouth. Meaning that you're the killer because you're a puppet in disguise. <laughs> of course I do. If he had been in the magic box the whole time, how could he have not heard that sound? Why do you ask? Because he was looking at the cockatrice. You're saying that he wasn't? Yep, that's right. Yep. Your claim has now become my weapon, Papega Archon. It's time. It's time. I missed one bit of info. That's all right. During the switching performance, there was an audible thump that I've heard. No one left the opera house during the magic show. Halsey is the missing person. She's a famous painter and came to watch the magic show in order to take a break from her own creative work. She isn't known to have been entangled in the quarrels with any of the members of Linnae's magic group. Let's do No one left. Are you sure we don't need to give this more thought? Paimon thinks there's something off here. Okay. Then the identity. Are you sure we don't need to give this more thought? Strange sound? He wasn't in the box or in the tunnel. That's why he didn't hear anything strange during the performance. Yes, that's right. This that's right. That that's right. When the crime happened, Linny had already entered the basement via the vent. That's right. The same clue you used to disprove his alibi has now become the best proof. <laughs> How do you like that? Yeah, what now, bitch? Well played. Suck my balls. <laughs> To think you'd use such logic. <laughs> well then, if it wasn't Linny who committed the crimes, then who was it? The girl herself. The woman herself. Here we go. The guard of investigation report indicates the fireworks released near the end of the show ignited and burned through the ropes suspending the water tank above the stage. This caused the water tank to fall and kill Cowell in the box below. If Lydia is no longer under suspicion, 
only the other members of the trope would have been able to tamper with the ropes. Linny gave a detailed account of how the trick was supposed to work by using a box inside a box. The idea was used for the box, containing the audience member to be transported in the box across via tunnel underneath in the box. And Linny himself would also use the box in the tunnel to use the other side in the box. Having changed her outfit, Lynette Marisita would take charge of onstage interactions. True. The box did it. The clothes belonging to Halsey, the lady who went missing, were found in the tunnel. The reason this remains unknown. Who was the only person who got it possibly committed the crime? The chick herself. Halsey is the missing person. Yep. And an ordinary audience member. Yep. Or did she have her own scheme all along? It was. Wait, really? <laughs> Wait, but it really seemed... It really seemed like... Could there have been a third person involved? Is that really a possibility? I mean... The deceased's name is Cowell, Linny's assistant. He would have been able to tamper with the equipment. But he wouldn't have just... ...himself. Right? Then there must have been Could there a have been third, third person. person involved? Is that really a possibility? There has to be. What? The well, I man. sure as hope it's Cowell. Man, I'm dumb. <laughs> Wait, what's, what's going on here? Did he kill himself? Um, the killer was, in fact, Cowell, the deceased! Oh, is that so? How interesting! Let's hear your reasoning, then. I love this voice actor, bro! What I must do next is recreate yep. the truth. Mm -hmm. What Cowell did, and how he went from would-be perpetrator to victim. Okay, question. What is the voice actor's name? Do we know? Do we know? What, what is her name? Uh, Amber Lee Connors. Hold up. Voice actor Farina. Genshin. Amber Lee Connors. Oh, please tell me she follows me on Twitter. She'll, she'll follow me back. She will... Wait, she voices Comey from Comey Can't Communicate? And Pike from Attack on Titan? She'll follow me back. We'll, we'll get her We'll get her on the old podcast. Just wait. We'll, we'll get her. We'll get her. All right, we'll get her. All right. All right. How can we envisage Linny as having been unable to interfere with the crime? Okay. No one entered or left the opera house through its entrances. So, where would the criminal have wanted to take Halsey? That's true. The deceased's name is Cowell, Linny's assistant. He would have been able to tamper with the equipment. That's very true. Select. Yep. There it is. Okay. Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. So, there must have been some fear that she would attract attention. Okay. The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the missing Halsey and the criminal. Yep, that one. Yep. Lenny was not in the tunnel at that moment, which gave our criminal ample time. It would have been tough for both people to fit into that vent. They would likely have bumped into Linny as well. Okay. Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. Dress. Where did the missing Halsey go? It would have been tough for both people to fit into that vent. They would likely have bumped into Linny as well. Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. The deceased's name is Cowell, 
The deceased's name is Cowl, Linny's assistant. He... The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the missing Halsey and the criminal. Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the mi The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the missing Halsey and the Yep. Lenny was not in the tunnel at that moment, which gave our criminal ample time. It would have been tough for both people to fit into that vent. No one entered or left the opera house through its entrances. It would have been tough for both people to fit. Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. It would have been tough for both people. I'm off by one? No one entered or left the. I was off by one? So there must have been some fear that she would. Mother that no one. one entered or left the true. Wait, what? Wait, what? I'm missing one clue. What? I was right about everything but one. Oh, it's a scripted failure. Oh, thank God. Wait, so I actually one shot it then? I one shot it? What's wrong, Traveler? Yeah. Are you still having trouble figuring things out? Where would Halsey go? <laughs> I see how it is. So this was all just a bluff. And here I thought you had something to show for it. But it seems you're still far from the truth. Look, since we're at a dead end, why not consider a different track? Okay, like where to? Just like the trick as it transpired, the end result must have been utterly different from the magician's initial design. Okay. If only we knew how Halsey disappeared. Uh... Well, that would be nice, but the tunnel only has three exits. Maybe she and didn't? And seem very likely. Maybe she didn't disappear? But it's not like this is a magic trick where you can just make a real live person disappear. You know, like you did from that water tank, Lynette. Okay. Uh. Escape from the water tank? Could it have been the water? <laughs> Excuse my interruption, dear opponents. But do you not see that the crowd is growing impatient? There is no greater sin in this opera house than an awkward delay in the performance. If the defense is unable to make further effective arguments, we will move on to the next stage of the trial. No, I can do it. No, I can. Objection! I can do it. 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 He was not in the tunnel at that moment. Right. Which gave our criminal ample time. Yep. Okay. Let's let's think here, guys. Let's let's use our let's use our big boy brains here. Let's use our big boy brains. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna use our big boy brains. The sound we heard yep. may have come from a clash between the missing Halsey and the criminal. Right. Right. The deceased's name is I Colin, sniped all these. Assistant. Right. Here we go. The f water in the vase. No one entered or left. Right. No one entered or left. Halsey's clothing was That one doesn't matter. It would have been tough for both people. It's the, the vase. vase. was not broken by chance. Yep. It was the vase. Let go. I'm the best. I'm the best! <gasps> I don't get it! It all comes together if Halsey disappeared yep. instead of being kidnapped! That's right! That's right! Lynette escaped from the water tank, vanishing gradually and leaving only clothes behind. That's right. Yep. Yes, she did. If there's a similar method where a person could be transformed into water... And they can. And they can. <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> Just a moment, please. I do hope you know how preposterous you sound at the moment. How could a person she is ever be the best into water? This is reality we're talking about here, not some magic trick. No, 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 no. We will find something here. <sighs> Must we really? I should think that of anyone. Your friend Linny already knows this truth very well. No. Nope. Magic nope. tricks are ultimately just illusions and misdirection. But Halsey's disappearance is very real. We're talking about two completely different things. Relax, so, little girl. I trust the traveler's judgment. Yep. Yep. I've the been doing this for a must day. Be out there somewhere. Perhaps some new line of reasoning may open if we try to gather all the focal points that don't make sense. Well, how the f did we get Lynette Since to disappear? Since the deceased, we haven't placed much attention on him. Right. But given that we aren't making much progress with the case, it wouldn't hurt to have a look at his belongings, would it? Right. It wouldn't. <sighs> People really do come up with all sorts of harebrained schemes when at the end of their rope. The way I see it. Your suggestion that we broaden the scope of our investigation is nothing but a tactic for stalling the trial. Well, that's what I do I as a Twitch this is a reasonable request on the part of an attorney. Since the trial does indeed appear to be at an impasse, I believe that additional evidence may help us make more progress. Okay. Guards, please step into the lounge and examine the personal I mean, effects of the deceased. Count. Am I crazy or like have these mother not seen Mona's right click? Like, bro, she's been in the game since launch. Like, how have you not seen that? We are still examining the items, but we have already made critical progress that we feel must be shared with everyone post haste. We discovered several test tubes of fluid within Cowell's baggage, each labeled separately. Oh, those are my cum. The notebook in his backpack claims that these fluids are water from the primordial sea yeah i got some the water from the primordial sea. sea i put it on your mom's face the notes contents also indicate that cowell belonged to an organization that sells illegal drugs and that he had an accomplice that doesn't sound good to me does it the there Florida? entries concerning safe usage yeah of little bitch could be so damn difficult dissolve appears many times one of these tubes was labeled opera epicles along with yesterday's date it is no epic. problem The notes also state that these dissolution properties work exclusively on people from Fontaine. Okay. It's likely that Halsey Audible was chosen gasp. as some sort of test subject. As such, we believe that the defense's hypothesis is, in fact, supported by sufficient evidence. Oh. You've got to be kidding. People dissolving into water? <laughs> could something so ridiculous actually be true? Yes, it could. Wait a moment. This reminds me of a certain prophecy. But you silly little it's biscuit. It's just a coincidence, isn't it? Huh. If people can become water, does that mean that the water tank's real use was as a means to hide water stains? Yep. And if Cowell was targeting that girl... Yep. Wait just yep. a minute. Could yep. that mean... You two, with me, quick! Run! Demoiselle, Run. wait! Run. What about your partners? Mm. Let's go. Just trust me. Yep. Order! Order! Okay, Song Lee, relax. It is undeniable that further examination of the deceased's personal effects has yielded some surprising results. Okay. But we cannot yet verify the veracity of these clues. Still, let us assume that these clues are indeed authentic, albeit with the understanding that Ms. Halsey has yet to be found. Guards, please continue examining the items along these lines. Mr. Linney, it appears your hypothesis is supported by the evidence. Bro, so this shit is so speaking. sick. What the f Of course. Thank you, Your Honor. But what does it mean? If we uphold this hypothesis, I believe that many of this case's seemingly unrelated clues can be connected together. Right! Like the metal hook! That one didn't make sense at all. Yep, that's very true. Let's think about this. Cowell's methods must have something to do with that... Water from the primordial sea. But what? But what does it mean? Who was the prime suspect? The deceased's name. This mother. Linny. What item did the culprit use to control the timing of the dissolution? The a grappling hook. The hook rope was not meant for another magic trick, 
but yep. was instead some form a grappling hook. What item? The, the water, water of the primordial, primordial sea. And what did the, I, the culprit use to hide the mechanism behind the crime? Let's think here. was in the magic box on stage the entire yep. time. Yep. Did she have something to do? No. I remember there was something else within the inner layer of that box. That's right. The rope that strung the water tank up was lit by the fireworks and cut. As such, the focus here is on the water and not the tank. The rope. I had everything else? I remember there was something. Got him! Laser beam! Blah! Let's go. Let's get it done. Ahem. It's yep. Ace Detective Paimon's time to shine again! Shut the f*** up. In the original plan, Cowl would tamper with the water tank rope. Yep. And the number selector securing his target. When the magic yep. box containing Halsey was lowered, yep. the metal hook would retract gradually and pierce the balloon at the top of the box. Yeah, it did. When the balloon attached to the box popped, the water from the primordial seed inside it would pour down and dissolve Halsey. Very After smart, Paimon! enter the tunnel and break the flower vase to conceal the water inside the tunnel. With the remaining evidence being covered up by the water tank on stage. But he encountered something unexpected in the tunnel. And wound up being fatally hit by the same water tank he meant to use to cover his tracks. Stupid! Huh, that does make sense. That actually links together a lot of the more confusing pieces of evidence. Yep. Oh dear, what do I do? Yep. Even I think they sound convincing now. Yep. Have I falsely accused an innocent person? <laughs> what a humiliation. I'm going to humiliate now, you in front of all of these people. It seems like the only point of contention remaining is the exact circumstances that led to Cal's death. His notes mentioned he had an accomplice yep. who could be related to the situation. Yep. It's over, you f***ing pagan. Note, the guards have just contacted me indicating that they uncovered new evidence. Yep. I shall now invite him on stage to share it with us. Who? NPC number Thank 502? You, we were just inspecting the luggage of the other people involved in this case. No! And we found an identical sample of the water from the Primordial Sea among Linny's personal effects. You did it! What? That can't be. <laughs> oh, I see. You are wonderfully comedic to have your own counterattack only to come back and wound you. <laughs> Farina, I will f you up. Doubt. My dear citizens, my loyal audience, allow me to present my reasoning and bring this performance to a swift okay. close. Okay. Holy shit, man, we're getting back into it. Part in the dissolution of the young woman at all. Okay. Indeed, he did leave the scene via the vent. Yep. Okay. The plot thickens. So. Having made modifications to the props beforehand, yes, yes. his accomplice Cowl then caused Halsey to vanish using the water from the primordial sea. Ah, oh, I see. Trying to use your my evidence against me, I see. But upon his return, you're but a fool, avarice. Linny desired sole credit and prepared to do away with his partner in crime. Not good enough. Ultimately, he knocked Cowell out, and the tool meant to cover the crime up also became a murder weapon. Now, as much as I regret having come to such a viciously straightforward conclusion, it does seem that the famed Fatui is quite the cold-blooded and ruthless organization. I would unironically recommend people to do this story quest just to witness the greatness that is Farina. Holy f talk about a 10 out of 10 f performance as the water archon. Like her voice acting is everything, bro. Even the animation of the character are fantastic. 
Hey, Blah, Paul's saying your take was so bad. I don't think you should have been told to yourself. But god damn, this character is peak, bro. Good god. I am loving it. Am I right, Mr. Linny? Nope. We've used up all nope. the evidence we collected. Nope, we got There's it. There's no way for us to make a rebuttal here. Oh, yes, is their mother is. Road? Nope. Nope. Nope, we got no. this. Mm, I can't think of anything either. It doesn't look like there's any way around this. Oh, no. Uh, seems using the water as new evidence was too good a move. Oh, why did this have to happen now? That's okay. Let, let bro cook. I have seen enough now. Let and bro cook. we have ample witnesses to my flawless reasoning. Let me cook. I believe this is indeed the finale. No, no, no. Now then, my good, noble Chief Justice, should we not, in your view... He's so cool. Uh, excuse me, everyone, but I must interject. Objection! This, I must ask you not to shout. And to respect the ongoing legal proceedings. But why? But why? Oh, but God. why? Don't be hasty. I have a good reason for interrupting, you know. But why? Now, would anyone here like to take a little break from all this debate and see a little magic? Yes, also, I would. an amazing trick. One that can bring a young woman who has disappeared back in the flesh right before your very eyes. How? Please, do the honors, Mr. Linney. Explain. If you would be so kind. Do it then. But what in the world is she saying? What is no blood offense, waffling yes, about? Miracles like that are beyond my scope as a magician. Okay, do it then. But now, what, but how are you talking? Anyways, your lip sync is crazy. Now, don't be silly. Magic is all about misdirection, isn't it? It is. It often conceals the truth while presenting a fascinating illusion. It does? Because everyone believes the illusion. Can't magic reveal the truth to them once again? It could. And wouldn't such a trick be the most marvelous finale to today's performance? Come on, Lenny and Lynette. Give it another go. Don't worry. Spina di Rasula has made the necessary arrangements. We're bringing Signora path. back. But as the magic makers and stars of the show, I think I should leave the final performance to you. I understand. Well, then let's run it, baby. Let's run it. Let's mother run it. Run it. And voila. What? Um, uh, sorry for the interruption. What? Wait, isn't that Halsey? So the whole thing about people dissolving wasn't true after all? What? To be clear, I'm only here because this person told me that if I testified, the merit of doing so would lessen my sentence. I was hiding outside this room listening to the proceedings because I was afraid that I would be the one put on trial. I was just feeling happy that no one had noticed me. And then before I knew it, she caught me. What? <laughs> That'll teach you to underestimate us three. Where should I begin? Good shit, Navia. Good I'm shit. Sorry. I'm the one who killed Cowl. I admit it. That's what I said. What? Why? Firstly, Wait, that's what I predicted. My name isn't Halsey. It's Lillian, and I'm originally from. I do it, dude. I heard that Linny's show was hey. going to be a real thriller, but I missed the chance to buy a ticket, so I stole one. That's how I make a living. What can I say? I steal stuff here and there. And I'd never been caught before. But Until I was noticed today. at the harbor a few days ago. Yep. And I barely got away. Yep. Lenny was the one who caught me in the act. Yep. Same here. Hey, so did I. You look familiar. Yep. So you were the thief. Lenny even mentioned that you were pretty skilled. Yep, that's right. Well, and I thought that would have been the end of it. But then the number selector chose me. Oh, that was accidental? He even mentioned the Fortress of Meripede. That's a prison, isn't it? So you can imagine how shocked I was. I thought he was on to me for sure. So I played along with the show while looking for an opening to flee. But then I got water poured on me for no reason, and then someone jumped into the tunnel to nab me. I wasn't going Why? to take that lying down, so I knocked him out and stuffed him into the box. What the f 
There was nowhere to run from there, though, so I had to change my clothes and hide in a box containing performance costumes. I slipped out after the first guard arrived at the scene and continued hiding inside the opera house. What the f Can a person even hide in there? Yeah, I guess a professional thief. But I swear, I didn't know that the water tank would fall down. Really, I swear it. Well, then who did Had it? Had I known that, I wouldn't have put him in the magic box. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. Oh, well, okay, well, okay, then I didn't call it. Well, I mean, yeah, I did. I was still right. This time, we need to tell the entire story from Lillianne's perspective. Okay, then let's do it. Again! Let's run this shit down, baby. Run this shit the mother down. Identify the loopholes. Linnae entered the tunnel after the beginning of the countdown, after which he used the ventilation shaft to leave the tunnel, and did not participate in the dis dissolving of the young woman. Okay. Cowell planned to use the prepared apparatus for magnetrix to dissolve Haley inside the magic box. As Halsey has completely unharmed before all of her eyes, Farina's conjecture no longer holds water. And how would Halsey have reacted when the water from the primordial sea suddenly began to trickle in? Linny wanted all the credit and glory and wanted to get rid of all of his partners. As Halsey... As Halsey has appeared completely unharmed before all of our eyes, Rainy's conjecture no longer holds water, but there is evidence proving that a fight did indeed break out in the tunnel. Linny knocked Cowell out, then using the method to dissolve young girls, he got rid of Cowell and disguised it as an accident. As Halsey has appeared completely unharmed before all of our eyes, Rainy's conjecture no longer holds water. After the fight, what did Halsey do? A meticulous design magic prop activated, causing the water tank to crash and make everything seem like an accident. Okay, no. Loopholes. Objection. Objection. Okay. Let's read over every bit of evidence. A rope that has fallen to the ground, a metal hook has been tied to the end of this rope, used to pop the balloon atop the magic box. This device was used during Lenny's magic performance to choose a lucky member of the audience. However, guards have found that it will generate the exact same number no matter what. Clearly, someone has tampered with it. Strange sound during the magic show. During the switching performance, there was an audible thump that many audience members have heard. There are many pieces of a broken... Hmm, Chad, are you looking at this? There are many pieces of a broken flower vase on one side of the tunnel. All the water within has been spilled... Judging from the distance, it seems unlikely that it was knocked over by a trolley meant to transport the magic box. The clothes belonging to Halsey, the lady who went missing, were found in the tunnel. The reason remains unknown. Okay. How would have Halsey have reacted when the water from the primordial sea began to run? She would have taken her clothes off. The broken flower vase. Okay, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's continue further. A fight indeed break out. There was a strange audible thump. Mm. Let's go! The strange sound wasn't from a yep. fight. It was Lily Ann's attempt yep. to break out when she was yep. frightened. There it is. Okay. Now, there a fight did indeed break out. Okay. Let's identify the loophole of clearly the broken flower vase. The flower vase was not broken to cover anything up, yep. but was smashed during the struggle between Lillian yep. and Cowell. That's right. Okay. And then, as Halsey has appeared completely unharmed before all of our eyes, Farina's conjecture no longer holds water. After the fight, what did Halsey do? Take off her clothes. Lillian was afraid that she would be recognized. Boom! So she changed clothes and hid, biding her time. Yep. Just what one might expect of an experienced thief. Yep. And it's there it is. Time on time. Yep. Jesus Christ, shut up. Having been selected out of the blue, Lillianne panicked. Yep. Her panic only intensified after she entered the tunnel and had water poured on her head. Yep. So she kicked the door open, producing the thud we all heard. Yep. Hearing the commotion, Cowell leapt into the tunnel, only to discover that Lillianne had not dissolved. Yep, that's right. He did not know that Lillianne was not from Fontaine, but was a thief. Who made a her thief! way in by stealing a ticket? 
A thief! Mistakenly believing that the water from the primordial sea needed time to take effect. Yep. He tried to force Lillian back into the box. To no avail. To no avail. The two broke the flower vase during the struggle, but Lillian came out on top, knocking Cowell out and putting him in the box. Easily, mind you, easily. With no way of escaping, she changed her clothes and hid in the costume trunk until the performance ended. Yep, that's right. Good shit, Paimon. I never thought I'd say that. Excellent job, my head detective. We did it, boys. But are we out of the water, the primordial water yet? Let's see. This is going to be a she true nails moment. She would have to go through guard inspection if she tried to leave afterward. So, she has been trapped in the opera house these last two days. It's she been two days in here? desperately hungry by the time we were chatting over macarons. So, she swiped two of them right under our noses. That's right! What a sneaky thief. That's right! At this point, all the events that happened in the tunnel have now come to light. She took ah, the shit. So that's the whole story. Bravo. Bravo. There we go. Now then, Lady Farina, do you wish to speak against the defense's statement? Say something, punk. I, uh, um. Please answer the question, Lady Farina. Also, if I may add, the trial has not yet ended. As such, I request that the prosecution not leave the room before the proceedings have concluded. That's right. Get back here, <sighs> young lady. What? Are you reading my mind now? <sighs> no. I have no further yep. arguments. Papega. I admit defeat. But really, could you at least have left me with some dignity? Nope. Wow. Look at that. She's like a deflated balloon. I know, she ain't got no boobs. If there are no objections, then as the Chief Justice of Fontaine, I shall once again repeat the full sequence of events. The actual perpetrator of the serial disappearances, Cowell, selected yep. his next victim from the audience reservation list. Yep. With some modifications to the selector, he could ensure that the pre-selected young woman would be chosen. That's right. To cover up any evidence while committing the deed, Cowell thought of allowing the water tank to fall which would conceal the water left behind after the young woman was dissolved. Yep. He got also him. tampered with the rope suspending the water tank, using the fireworks at the end of the performance to cause the tank to drop You're a and fool, hide Cal. the water marks. You're a fool. He poured the water from the primordial sea into a balloon during the preparation of the magic box. Absolute and fool. Stuck it to the box's lid. Finally, he passed the prepared hook on a rope through the gap in the magic box's door when bringing the young woman to said box. When the magic trick officially began, the box containing the woman was lowered into the tunnel, tightening the hook rope and bursting the balloon containing the water. He killed himself because he was if an idiot. If all had gone to plan, the young woman would be dissolved at this time. However, Lillianne was not from Fontaine and thus fled the box with a loud noise. Realizing that there was trouble, Cowell entered the tunnel and met Lillianne. Thinking that the waters had not yet taken effect, he decided to proceed. However, his opponent was more capable than he thought, and he was overcome, knocked unconscious, and placed into the magic box, and thus became his own final victim. Well, Lillian, according to her own statement, to be honest. then changed clothes and hid until the performance <laughs> ended, before hiding in uh, other it's parts. It's funny of the to be office. hilarious. As for Linny, little bro, the man. They're watching too much LTG. The opera house, and was thus ignorant of these happenings. From this reconstruction of events. Yep. We can conclude that Linny, the accused, is in fact innocent. Hooray! My man's W! Amazing! While there is much in Linny and Lillian's conduct that should still be investigated separately, this case at least Where are the other can girls? be handed over to the oratrice to make the final decision. Linny did nothing wrong, homie. Wait, did they just do a pole in Honkai Star Rail? Was that wait 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 what the f was that was legit just that was a pull in Honkai. He got a three star man. As He's such, pissed. 
Linny and Lynette <laughs> what are the officially hell? declared Bob not guilty. <laughs> Great work, partners. Thank you all. Thank yep. you so much. No problem. What can I say? I am that bitch. Next, I think we deserve an explanation, Guard Vaughn. How did you find the water from the primordial sea in Linny's baggage? Uh, right! Your discovery caused me to make a serious mistake, you know! Yeah. Or was that not a discovery, but false evidence that you dare to bring before this court? Yeah, what's going on I here? I suspect that the accomplice mentioned in Cowell's notes was not Linny, but you, yes? What is going on here? I... Uh, I'm gonna gub. I'm sure you know what you must do to lessen your sentence. Speak quickly! Unless what, you what's he gotta do? A one way ticket to Coupon Town. I, what's he gotta I do? Was just following orders. We were supposed to place blame for the serial disappearance. He's not gonna have to and thus swap. cause suspicion to fall on the Fatui. The higher up said this was the best opportunity to do so. And now that your plan has fallen through and the secrets of the water have been revealed, you have become a liability to said higher ups, yes? Therefore, you would be wise to tell everything you know and seek the protection of the guards. That's right. Yes, I'll tell you everything I know. That's right. Our boss discovered that the water can cause people to dissolve. Yep, I remember that. It can also be made into a potion, yep. which when extremely diluted, can cause people to experience unforgettable exhilaration. We've been in this business for a while now and have made decent more off it. The disappearances were also the boss's idea. I mean, this is the boss we're talking about. Yep. The the boss! What the f What? Huh? Huh? What the f And now he can no longer talk. What the f Why are you Your talking business. like this? I shouldn't have expected any less of them. Wait, bro got An melted? Act. Bro All got present. melted? Please submit to inspection immediately. Nani? Why did bro just turn into gub? Bite so, so to! We're just going back now? Yep. We're not needed here anymore. That's true, but... Traveler, Paimon, please wait. What is going on? Lenny. Bro I turned into gamer subs. Speak to me right now. <laughs> Maybe you don't even want to look at me. But still, uh, let good me one. thank you again for defending me to the end. Good one, good one, good even one. Even after you learned that I'm a member of the Fatui. Yeah, why are you like that? I guess... But regardless, I'd like the opportunity to set things straight. Okay. By the way, boys. I didn't approach you with any ulterior motives or ill intent. I've spoken to you as myself, just plain Linny, this entire time. Just reminding y'all, we I'm assuming we're getting to the, the end of part one. We're doing a five hundred dollar giveaway after this. Just letting y'all know for y'all who want to summon or if you need help with like your college debt or something. Just reminding you guys. Just reminding you guys, as a, as a way to say thanks. That, that'll be for my followers, of course. That'll be for my followers and my subscribers, of course. As for why I'm a Fatus, it's because the goals of the House of the Hearth align with those of an orphan like me. That's all. Wait, that what? That's how Father, who you might know as the Knave, Otet? approached recruiting us back then, too. The Knave? Knave? The one who controls the House of the Hearth? She's your father? Wait, she? Wait, what? That's right. And since we're here, I was wondering, would you mind hearing a story? Wait, so our Latino is Back the when father? Our first died, Lynette and I were left wandering the streets to survive. What the? Repetitiously observing an older street performer who did magic. It took me several days to figure out how he pulled off his amazing tricks. I took my sister through what? several streets until we found her a title corner, is daddy and we began to perform magic tricks there what the 
he proved to be pretty popular. Bro, 2023 is wild. about where our next meal would come from for a time. But I didn't want my sister to remain a street rat together with me forever. What? Before long, an aristocrat came to me and claimed that he wished to take us in after watching my performances. So you went from orphans to nobility just like that? Hi, Jimmy! That was how we felt at first, too. As if fate was on our side and we could say goodbye to those painful days. But I gradually discovered that while we were called foster children, he was really after my talent for magic tricks. Why do they keep on calling Arlecchino a guy? He would take me to all sorts of banquets to garner attention, which he would then use to expand his social circles. That doesn't seem too bad either. Better than roaming the streets at any rate. Wait, surely Arlecchino is not a guy. Surely not. <laughs> It took a while for me to realize just how dark his heart really was. Okay, After what is going on After one particular here? performance at a banquet, I discovered that Lynette was not on the same return vehicle as me. I waited a long time after we returned home, but she did not come back. I went to that noble's bedroom and asked him about her whereabouts. The answer he gave me was, she caught the eye of the most eminent person at the banquet, so I sent her what over as a fuck? gift. I mean, you'll be able to perform your magic regardless of who your assistant is, yes? Oh no. So he was gonna... Gub? <sighs> but wouldn't Fontaine's laws deal with such people? As far as outsiders are concerned, this is a relationship akin to adoption or foster care. And they have their ways of escaping the eye of the law. What? I managed to ferret out the location of the mansion of that so-called eminent person and hurried through the night. But by the time I leaped over the walls, avoided the guards, and made my way in, all I saw was the moonlit ground covered in blood and the knave standing there in the darkness. So, she'd already taken care of that guy. That's right. She had rescued my sister before she could come to any harm, and had even discovered several girls hidden in a basement, all of them orphans. What? Father, I mean, the knave, might have seen something in me, and so she made me an offer. The House oh? of the Hearth welcomes you, for your interests align with ours. Here, none will ever betray you. Indeed. Betrayal shall never be permitted here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Help, 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 help. Genshin lore nerds, I know you're in here. What is going on? There's a lot of info that's obliterating my brain right now. So there was a child ring. Right? They were orphans to a noble. But Arlecchino saved them from him. And so the noble was going to... Oh my god. So a noble was going to... He was? Or sell. So there was an orphan ring and Arlecchino stopped them from doing that so Arlecchino who is daddy is a good guy oh my god that is bro cappuccino that is crazy hey bro I'll see six or F I'll see six R five her ass. Jesus Christ! I think father's a code name. Uh, yeah, of course, of course. I was hesitant to trust her. I mean, I had just been betrayed by nobles, but she was also quick to destroy the noble who had taken us in at first, giving us back our freedom. Oh, so that's how the two of you joined the House of the Hearth. Yeah. Is the name of Hypnosis? She has her own plans. Okay. She has gained permission from the Sarita to first use the Gnosis's power and, when and she And Tartali is part of the Sarita too, she right? She plans to use it to find a way to break the prophecy and save Fontaine. Okay. So, she believes in that prophecy too? 
That's right. The whole House of the okay. Hearth is currently working to combat that crisis. Today's case has also proven that people from Fontaine can indeed dissolve into some sort of water, thus further supporting the prophecy. Okay. All of us House members here, Lady Arlecchino herself included, are from Fontaine. We won't give up on defending our homeland. Okay. To us orphans, the only connection we have left to this world, apart from our family, is our homeland. Holy so, shit, Genshin was cooking with this quest, bro. What the to huge schemes like stealing a Gnosis, everything is aimed at dealing with that prophecy. I really don't know about you guys. I think this is my favorite quest in Genshin history. I, I think this beats, I think this beats Dragon Spine for me. I think this is the best quest Genshin has ever put out. Unironically. I don't think it's recency bias. I don't. I think Genshin has absolutely knocked it out of the park. I don't think it's just the 10 month break. I don't. I think they are absolutely cooking. Like, this is great. Wait, we're only at part one of the quest? Wait, is there more? Is there more? Wait, act two is out? And is act two completed? Oh, I'm gonna come! Oh, we gotta do that shit, boys. Holy. F oh my God. Dude, the whole part where you like have to. Okay, let me, let me continue. I think we're, I think we're wrapping up act one right here. It's all right. I understand. The only thing I can do is relate all this to you. I just hope you can understand that even as a member of the house, yeah. I have never stopped making my own decisions. Okay. And that I believe what I'm doing is right. Yep. If you should need anything at all in the future, feel free to find me. I will do my best to help you as plain Linny. I understand. Um, bye Linny. I'm pulling a copy of Linny. They've sold me on the character. I'm pulling a copy. I'm only getting one. I'm only getting one. But it's for it's for it's for memory purposes to remember this quest. I'm pulling one copy one. Not today, tomorrow. Just to be able to remember him as a character and you know for, for lore reasons. That this quest was awesome. What up, hey Nadia? there? What was with the disappearing act you pulled right as the trial ended? Yep. Were you looking for us, Navia? Yep. Well, this whole thing isn't exactly over, is it? I do feel that we're getting closer to solving the serial disappearances case, though. Yep. Don't you think so, too? I do. Huh? What's wrong, my dear partner? I don't f*** with blondes. We're the ones who can crack a case that's been cold for decades now? And given that there's new evidence from the trial, there should be a trail of breadcrumbs for the Hydro Archon's people to follow hey, now. Sorry, Navia. Right? Not my business. Huh. Not my business. I see. Well, I won't lie. I'm a little shocked to hear that from you. But I suppose you are just travelers who have only arrived in Fontaine after all. Sorry. I might have been too presumptuous. Don't say that, Navia. Ah, oh, and we were having so much fun investigating with you, too. It was like having new waters flowing into a stagnant mire, causing new hope to spring forth and the reflection in the murk to become clearer. Yep. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm a bit prone to nostalgia. Don't mind me. No problem. Wait, shall we have a farewell meal? 
You know, to commemorate our time as partners. Huh? I would love to. Do we really need to get that formal? Uh, well, guess you really did treat Give me us those. as partners, huh? Give me them damn well, macarons. I'd just like to have a proper ending to every important memory. That way there are no regrets later. Anyway, it would just be a meal, so it shouldn't take up too much of your time. Let's go. You don't have to twist Paimon's arm. If Boss Navi is treating, get Paimon in! Yeah. Oh, wonderful. In that case, why don't we return to the Court of Fontaine and head to the Hotel de Boer? I believe we'll make it just in time for dinner. Oh we better God. get Let's more Farina in part two or I'm going to be pissed. What a f clash, dude. What a f banger. Dude, little bit slow, little bit slow, not too slow, but it cooked, interactive, fun new elements that they like to do with their goofy ass mini games. It was a damn good time. I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely love that. That was incredible.